Hi, my name is Andy, and I play the lovable bugbear Torbeck. Unless you're that one guy who told me I hate Torbeck. Speaking of you fan know who comments, you are. <laughs> speaking of fan comments, uh, we've got some uh, recent YouTube comments from uh, the most recent episode of Once Upon a Witchlight, episode 18. And I quote, the betrayal of Nikki when Nikki wants support. And instead, Derek uses the opportunity for a manscaping joke is all I never knew I needed. <laughs> I love how the auto captions labeled the realms as Hither, Tither, and John. John is my favorite realm. <laughs> and of course, Mommy Milkers. So while you're enjoying the episode, please be sure to subscribe, like the video, and check that bell so you never miss a single episode. We really appreciate all of your support. Oh, Realm John Virgin is a great jazz player. <laughs> um, we have a Patreon and a merch store. We really do. would be amazing if you just checked it out. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, go check them out. Beans. Hey, keep working. Keep your hands down. Once upon a witch light hour, the sleeping queen stirred in her tower, and through grand halls past lock and key came to her slumber dreams of three. The first brought laughter filled with fright, the second love defiled by spite, the third a world of pure delight. She welcomed these, they were her own, but soon from porcelain lips a groan, her silvery dreamscape now forsaken, to pain from which she'd not awaken, something blighted had come hither, foul as nightshade creeping thither, from yon the grave-like curse did wither. The little prince wept in his spire, his wounded heart had one desire. A ballad from the dreaming queen could turn his maelstrom mind serene. He vowed her rescue, speech sincere, but toys would be his shield and spear, and so he scoured for one full year. In springtime wreathed in parenthood, the prince first found a toy of wood, a doll set, beasts and wild things. But listen close and each one sings. A song of child, owl, and bear. A song that calls the spirits there. A song for monsters with much hair. When summer heat steamed like a kettle, the prince then found a toy of metal. A rocking horse with ashen mane. Around its neck was draped a chain. Its horn and eyes and nose shoot flame with mighty hooves and sturdy frame. No better steed one could proclaim. He searched from Autumn's harvest throne. The prince then found a toy of bone. Lettered blocks stacked to the sky, when turned to words could only lie. Deceit known to the hounds of hell makes for a potent hex or spell of souls, of sin, of shadow fell. Through winter's chill from peak to pass, the prince then found a toy of glass. Marble spun in measured motion, like careful thought or certain notion. Each glinting cat's eye seeing all, from stars beyond the cosmic sprawl, to inner strength and mind's recall. The day has come, no time for rest. The fateful toys placed in a chest, with stripes of white and stripes of red, just like a big top by his bed. The little prince prepares a flower for either outcome, sweet or sour, and makes a wish for love, for power, once upon a witchlight hour. I was a little slow on the draw there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what in the hell? Oh, dear. Derek's uh, <laughs> that startled me. Uh, I respect you, Derek. <laughs> I respect you, too. <laughs> you feeling all right? I was going to start so I think he was trying Looks like Mikey's got the rash now, too. It's spreading. It's only a matter of time. Andy, get out while you can. Uh, you can hear 1d20. 
Judy got an advantage. Are you one. almost <laughs> done, Michael? <clears throat> you are all asleep in the inn at the end of the road. It's cozy, it's comfortable, and it's your first bit of rest. Legitimate rest in what feels like 16, 17, 18 weeks. <laughs> and at first, it is lovely. Until you all begin to dream. In this dream, you see the vision of a dwarf man walking through the illuminated halls of what is clearly a subterranean palace. You experience the the meeting between him and a being, a person that you have never met before. And it becomes clear to you in this dream, if this dream is in fact true, that whatever this being is knows exactly where Torbeck is and who he is with. And it is with that realization that you all awake immediately in unison with a start. Jeez, ah! <laughs> <sighs> 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 I gotta I gotta drink. Oh, the integrity. Um, do you guys always wake up and scream like that? Pictunia was snorting. Wait, are we all sleeping in the same way? Oh, I guess you guys are in the common room. Who's not in the common room? Just Ross, but his door's open and he's sitting up breathing heavily and all the hair on his back, on the back of his neck is sitting straight up. Oh, Mr. Crammy, Torbeck had a nightmare. (laughs) Well, at least it wasn't just me. Did you wake us up? Is that you? No, not me. I'm quiet as a church mouse. I was simply just brushing all the ash out of the hearth. And you can see she's got soot all over her dress. Uh, her rosy cheeks um, have soot on them. Um, and she's very, she's very clearly been next to the fire for a significant amount of time. Um, she looks incredibly warm. She's slightly sweaty. Will somebody get Torbeck a glass of warm milk? <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Anybody else want anything else? Anybody thirsty? Torbeck, Torbeck? your cup of hot Jones can wait. What's, what's, what's Jones? I'm going to ask you one question. Oh. And I'm not going to be mad. All right. Did you Sorry. kick over the structural support pillow that was keeping up this <laughs> section of the blanket fort? <laughs> because it seems we've sacrificed the structural integrity and Grico ain't no slouch. Torbeck thrashes in his sleep a little. It was probably Torbeck. Well, Torbeck, like I said, I'm not mad, but I can forgive trying to stab me and inject my blood with toxic ooze. But compromising the structural support of a pillow fort, I will not abide. Just know this going forward if you value our friendship. Sormac has noted it. Uh, exactly. Now he can move on his friends. <laughs> this is also the first time we've, <laughs> we've slept. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's an astute observation. Does anybody want something to drink? Or is it just some warm milk for Torbeck? We'll I'll, get a round of hot Jones for everyone. I'll be I don't at know the. What uh, that is. Uh, I don't know what that is either, but Frost will be at the door, uh, and I'm wearing my I'm wearing my robe, uh, having obviously switched into like more of a, a night outfit, a night robe. But I'm wearing my robe almost like a bathrobe at this yeah. point, like keeping it uh, tucked to my sides. But uh, yes, I uh, uh, milk is indeed a good source of vitamin C and other nutrients. I wouldn't mind a glass of warm milk. Okay. Yeah, I'll so, take some of that bean juice if you still got it. Bean juice, two warm milks, one hot Jones. Thank you. Is it in the morning? I mean, are we fucking crazy? <laughs> <laughs> it's the 2 a.m. Okay. You just asked me for a drink. I thought we were drinking whiskey and bean juice. I think he's going to kick you up. What, well. what, what time is it? I assume we got a long rest. Huh? I assume that we slept for uh, the usual six to eight hours necessary to keep the body. I don't know. 
Torbeck normally sleep. sleeps for 22 hours straight. <laughs> that's too much. Keep it, in, keep it in game, Torbeck. <laughs> that's, that's too much time, Torbeck. You're, you're, you're hurting yourself with that much sleep. Um, you all slept for quite a while. Yeah. I had enough time to play hide and seek with Pigtunia. Mm -hmm. oh. She won. Mm. I lost uh, again. I, I imagine that, you know, Aunt Pig's quite good at seeking out things. You think I'd be able to find her really easy? She goes, <laughs> but whenever we're playing hide and seek, she's quiet. Instead of doing that, she goes. <laughs> you don't happen to have any uh, truffles on you, do you? Not on my physical person currently. When you play hide and seek, do you have truffles on you? No. Oh, just checking. Just Hi. checking. Can you guys believe that 48 hours ago we were in Hogway? <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Where's that? Man, lots happened. Oh. What's an Aquay? Oh, it's just the place. It's the city where we were when we uh, decided to go to a carnival and then eventually found our way here to Prismere. Mm -hmm. oh. There's a lot of jazz. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of jazz. That's for sure. And bullywugs. Oh, yeah. If you like <laughs> jazz, there are these really nice snakes that live over at the Slanty oh, Tower. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, no. <laughs> Oh yeah, we had a, a spaghetti. We had a snake cooked spaghetti dinner from them. Mm. Twigsy, you know Mr. Snake Snake. Mm -hmm. Oh God! Are, are you telling Torbeck that snakes cooked you spaghetti? Oh yes, it was well, remarkable to watch. They really put it on a plate to say that they cooked it is a bit of a you know uh, that's giving them a lot more than they really deserve. Next, well, it wasn't raw, I guess, if that's your question. Next, you're gonna try to convince Torbeck that a shrimp fried that rice. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> you know, Torbeck, it was a, really it was a truly remarkable feat. Uh, the 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 wife cooked us a full uh, a spaghetti dinner with meatballs and everything. <laughs> she even she even had a, a, a hot pad. It was really more like a sock that she put over her head. Oh. <laughs> Tell me more. Well, I will as soon as we get our milk and uh, whatever hot Jones. What is a, jo a hot Jones? Hot Jones? Oh, it's a hot Jones. What's, what's in it? Uh, if you have to ask, you don't want it. Is the displacer <laughs> piss drink just heated up? That's what he enjoys. No, it actually came heated up. Uh, oh, it did? Yeah. Oh, this place God. The comes heated up. Oh, well. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but, man. What the hell's a hot Jones, but, man? But, but uh, you know, if you have to ask, you can't afford it. Uh... <laughs> We're not paying for any of these things. What, what did you want, Primmy? Um, I don't have to bring you anything if you're mad that I'm bringing beverages. It's just, Torbeck Dor asked for it, and, and so I, I said I would do it, but I don't have to if it makes you upset. Just a bottle of something. What? Okay. Just anything to make me go to sleep. I mean, assuming that it's like the middle of the night. I mean, usually when I get woken up by a horrible nightmare, it's not like the morning. Usually I don't get up and feel chipper, and I'm like, oh, let's go start the day. No, didn't you see yeah. the Blue Jays fly by with the, with the, with the sheets that are hanging on the window? <laughs> and you watch as you look as a Blue Jay flies by the window. Its wings are um, protruding from the curved part of the oh. Jay. It doesn't have a T shape at the top like some Jays do, or a dot because it's not a lowercase. It's very clearly an uppercase J. I propose yeah, I mean, we rename Torbeck Muzzy. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say if a, a big mouth starts talking and sounds like Winnie the Pooh and a cat appears, I'm gonna get freaked out and my whole childhood is gonna be very formated by that experience. What's a poo? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> And Twig leaves and heads downstairs. Wait, hold on, what time? <laughs> oh, no, look, it's the wee hours of the morning, and I'll reach into my vest, and I'll pull out what's very clearly a pocket watch that's just uh, whittled from wood, and it, <laughs> it just says the wee hours. <laughs> I pull out my actual pocket watch. <laughs> it also says the wee hours. What the fuck? <laughs> it has an Alice in Wonderland face. The wee hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh, I guess we didn't get arrested, did we? Yeah, no. Nah. Oh, you yeah. wake up and you feel like you've had a lot of oh, so oh, That's what we're waiting oh, for, DM. What would my pocket it's watch my say? Uh, your pocket watch is moving much faster than you expected it to. Um, you're physically watching it just go around in circles. Ooh. Around in circles. Mm. <clears throat> I've gotten all my beans back. 
Um, oh, this thing's broken. Oh, yeah, Gideon. I don't. I think you're right. I don't think uh, they cooked it when they thought that no one was looking. They reached into the cupboard and they pulled out a can that said "Chef Boyardee," <laughs> and it was a snake. Yeah, you saw that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. they just popped the top right off of it and oh, put yeah. it in the bowl. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to heat that up. Yeah, but, they didn't even uh, heat it up. She just, no. she just moved it around a little. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Were the yeah. meatballs from a can too? Oh, it was all it was all in there. Yeah, I think it's just one of those one stop shop oh, things. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Vienna sausages. Oh, <laughs> I hate Vienna. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about the fucking fact we all had the same dream again. I've been waiting for everyone to get their beverages. So that we can, thank, yeah. you, thank you, Gideon. Yeah, no, we got, listen. And it's right around this time that Twig comes up with a an overly large tray filled with drinks. There are also some snacks on there. Um, these little frosted cookies that have um, what look to be like licorice bows stuck to them. Oh, um, she clearly baked them all. Um, there are muffins that are shaped like toadstool. They're frosted red oh, so um, cute. with cute little uh, white or like creamish candy drops uh, to make it look like a toadstool. And she sets it down and she begins to hand out the drinks. Um, Kremi, you get a bottle. Uh, the label on it says something by Twig. Um, that'll do. You get two um, frothing glasses of warm milk. It's Thank absolutely you, delicious. Thank you. Um, you have your bean juice, which mm. makes you, which immediately starts to perk you up. And Gricko, um, she hands you a wooden mug. And <clears throat> as you look inside of it, there is a small pixie man. He's very hot. His name is Jones. <laughs> Oh, it's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> it's like caution, caution, content's high. <laughs> I love that drink. Oh, it's a make your own hot Jones kid. Okay, walk over to the microwave. <laughs> It's like when you put a Furby in a microwave. <laughs> Ignite. I love you. <laughs> oh, Get out of my cup, Hot Jones. <laughs> uh, he climbs out of the mug and flies up to the bookshelf. This ain't no sentiments chimney. And you have an empty mug. It's warm. Uh, did we all have the same kind of dream? We all awoke at the same time. That would indicate that we were under the influence of some similar dream magic. But whether we experienced the same thing, we need to explain what we saw. And oh, I fucking hope shit. we all had different dreams. All a bunch of drugs say. before bed again. <laughs> no, I. Tor sure? Torbeck's worried that Torbeck may have put you all in more danger. What are you talking about, drugs, Jid? I don't know. Maybe you hit us with all that witch light and we were on kind of like a fantasy quest in our I dream space. I think that we were uh, our good friends, Mr. Witch and Mr. Light, were secretly <laughs> lacing everything with <laughs> with drugs <laughs> as soon as we entered their establishment. I mean, what do you think was in that taffy? Drugs. Uh, we ate so much of that taffy. Oh! <laughs> No, that would have been like drug antidote, right? That's like anti-drugs. Well, well it's just you. uppers and downers, you know what oh, I mean? They, just, they give you something to level well, you out and then get back into the game. My pancreas is never going to recover from this. <laughs> we yeah. could still be in the carnival. This could all be a nightmare hallucination. That's fair. I mean, grand total, that was only like seven hours ago, and that's after we slept. So Wait. <clears throat> There was that guy, the doctor, with the big mustache. Oh, yes. Yeah. The one with the, uh, oh, yeah. the white coat. Yeah. Oh. It's the same one I saw when we got those masks on our heads. We did experience the same thing. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. And, and there was the guy who's like, you know, I was like, whoa. <laughs> mm hmm You know? Why are you watching all, why are you always watching kingly types and looking at their, whoa. I mean, that's how you will. I can all, I saw I can all your kids. visions are, yeah, but like all of his visions are about people in thrones. That's how you can judge the stock of a royal line. Greco uh, is royalty, remember? Uh, no, that was also drugs. Uh, uh, <laughs> wait. 
A prisoner escaped! You think that proved the crazy escape prisoners out to kill us? Yes. Oh! Exactly right. Oh no, this is, a, this is an escaped maniac on the loose! Yep, exactly right. And like a boogeyman that goes bumping tonight. Uh -huh. Oh, we have to leave, Twig. It's been very wonderful. Thank you for the approximation of Hot Jones. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get out of here. But, but then still moving. Oh! He'll never catch up with us while we're in a moving in. Oh, that's reassuring. Oh, they ought to call it an out. What was in your dream? I didn't have one because I was awake, playing hide and seek with Big Tunia, losing. <laughs> Would it be fair for Frost to deduce <clears throat> that the prisoner mentioned in the dialogue? Oh, yeah, everyone but Greco realizes immediately that it was definitely uh, Torbeck. Including Torbeck? Yeah. <laughs> Everything including Torbeck. Things are a little fuzzy for Torbeck, and Torbeck just doesn't mean his paws. It's a good thing this inn is moving. Uh, it sounded like they were looking for you. Yeah, Torbeck is very sorry if Torbeck causes more problems for everyone, especially Twig. So that means there's a good chance he will follow well, they got some way of tracking them. Yeah. We all saw that fucking owl, right? Oh, the owl! Oh, oh shit. That oh, was kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no shit. Uh, mm. Well, there was a lot going on. Uh, I need you all to uh, roll a d20 for me, please. Just a d20? Yeah, I'm just regretting you. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm sure this will be fine. Oh, this okay. milk is delicious. Three. Fifteen. I also got a fifteen. Should one of us reroll? No. Okay. Four. Uh, Twelve. Um, Gideon, you develop an appetite for human bones. <laughs> <laughs> human uh, bones. <laughs> you are incredibly paranoid and believe everyone is out to get you. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Twelve, There's you no said? Uh, you cannot tell the truth. You love to lie, Frost. Uh. Um, and uh, Gricko and Torbeck, you both immediately die from the roll <laughs> 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 Torbeck is... <laughs> uh, well, welcome to the club, Torbeck. Oh, no, Torbeck! He... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! What's happening? Oh, no! Oh, Twigs, you fucking killed him! What's in those cups? I, I bet it was that Jones! I knew it! When I picked that Jones out of the other 15 Jones I had in the cabinet, I had a feeling that one was a complete degenerate! He was probably laced with poison and stuff! You got 15 other Joneses in the cabinet? Oh, well, just in case someone orders a hot Jones, you oh, gotta have a hot Jones. Oh, for consumption? Yeah, I'll get a hot Jones. You gonna eat him? Oh, yeah. They well, got bones in them? Yeah. Yeah, give me a hot Jones. No, no, don't get him a hot Jones. Give me a hot Jones, yeah. Twigsy. Give me a hot Jones. I'm hungry. Yes, like, Gideon loves. You like pixie bones? They're tiny. Oh, they pixies? Yeah. Ugh. God, I hate pixie bones. <laughs> you got any humans lying around? Um. Or bones, human bones. <laughs> Maybe. Can you guys roll another hand? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 just let me know if they shift into humans. I'll just tackle them and start gnawing at their bits. <laughs> Please, God. 50. 50. <laughs> Reroll. What is it? It's a hex blood. Oh, yeah. Really. Yeah, that's no fun. How are you getting, getting hex blood? 83. There's no way that's an explosion. <laughs> you turned into a tabaxi. No! <laughs> <laughs> and you spilled your milk, Torbeck. <laughs> oh, why? Oh, upper Blaine's the humanoid. <laughs> Did you get 50 again? No, that's five. Is that zero? No, that's not zero. That's 85. 85. Oh, interesting. Right? I get, roll, I get to roll a d12. 85, yeah. Yeah. Why do you get to roll a d12? Uh, because. Oh, no. You, you need to be the master of the chart. I really should. I turn into a mammon tiefling. <laughs> What, is that? what the hell is a mammon tiefling? Uh, a it's tiefling, a tiefling of, of mammon. Yeah, it's a tiefling of the. Oh, it's a place. Um, I think mam a, mammon is like archdevil. Arch 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 uh, I actually know. I exactly know exactly uh, how uh, that uh, uh, yeah. Of course you do. Um, oh, of my human bones. 
Um, you know, there might be. I might be able to get you some. Yeah, perfect. I'd rather hit the spot. It would be long dead humans, though. I don't think that matters. <laughs> you know, whatever you got, I'm not really. You know, I, they put the expiration date on. It's really more of a suggestion. You know, in my experience, I, I'll eat whatever you got. Okay. Did they just well, OD? Oh shit, they're fucking dead, I forgot. You all have feds in the Feywild? Huh? Is there any sort of like federal agent that like, you huh? know, that where, where drugs are illegal and like we could get huh? in big trouble if we were found with two dead people that died of, of overdoses? No. What it's probably drugs, world, and I'm sure dude. there's no common element to, uh, uh, or poison in any of our drinks. <laughs> oh god, kid, we, we really gotta get out of here. What do you mean? I'm the dead! I would never, well, I would never poison you, you guys are my friends. I'm not saying you did it, she might have done it, kid. I did it! Twigs you didn't poison them, what are you talking about? You remember when she turned into a crazy, horrible monster and helped hey! us fight? Uh, okay, crazy, horrible, uh, you know, kind of still cute kind monster? I can't help it! Yeah, 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 it's okay, all right. Well, so, and then she fought him? Uh, well, yeah, no, maybe it wasn't her, maybe it was... Oh my god, look! He's furry again! Mmm, oh, yes, Torbeck has finally experienced the sweet <laughs> release of death. Oh, Torbeck is back. <laughs> Welcome back, Torbeck. <laughs> Torbeck was happy with the infinite abyss. <laughs> and now Torbeck is back in the inn. Mmm. <clears throat> What happened to the goblin? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm dying. <laughs> uh, I'm dying from lack of funds. <laughs> hey. Does he look gold to you? Yeah, no, I, I am. I, I, oh, I, no, I, my color's fading. I need a little bit more. Uh, oh, the only remedy is gold. Wait, what? Do you want to eat it? A golden bow? Bell. Bell? Yeah, like ring-a-ding-ding. What's the, the bell. What's, what's the, the market price of that? I don't know. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I don't have it in my hands right now. I'll go get it when I get the pile of bows. Oh, this is just a canary. <laughs> oh. You just crushed Todd Jones. <laughs> oh, that was Todd Jones? Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> ah. Oh, well, God. I'll go bury him with Frederick, and she comes over and she grabs uh, up Jones. Yeah, I told you, the feds, the shape shifting devils. We, we really got to get the fuck out of here. Well, I don't think I don't know what purview you think the feds have, but I don't think they could have helped when they were dead, and they definitely can't help when they've been resurrected as a cat. And um, <laughs> the word you're looking for is uh -huh. tiefling. <laughs> Torbeck is confused as to why Torbeck looks like Frost. It is indeed a. Con that's not confusing at all. It makes perfect sense. <laughs> is this something that happens uh, normally? Well, I mean, it's happened before, but this is awfully suspicious that it happens the morning after the thing, and we had the dream, and this is all, too, it's all lining up. Torbeck is used to having fur, but not being so frail. Uh, look, look, you, I'm, I'm telling you, look, maybe we just, maybe we just kill him again. And just make him stay down, you know what I mean? And then we'll be fine. And then we'll get out of here. And that that owl, you know, he might he might chase us. But can you you well, you can't really punch him. Hey, Krami, I've been doing some thinking. <laughs> what the fuck are you gonna say? Do you know how long we've worked together, Krami? I've never seen you before in my fucking life. I Do don't you know, know how many ago. back wages you owe me? He doesn't owe you any bag wages. You're not Grico. I, you I, know. I knew it. I knew you ain't Grico. Then why do I know that you owe me exactly 78,462 gold pieces of back wages that you just paid me with IOUs? Huh? I pull out a piece of paper with all these. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he was the devil the whole time! <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. On the cover. This well, is I'm truly <clears throat> perplexing. Yeah, no, we, we, I, I would like all of that right now with interest. Uh, well, I mean, right now, look, on, on the count of three, all right? Yeah, no, I'm with you now. Oh, all right, Once okay. he starts collecting on debts, okay. uh, something fucking weird's going on here. Look, you, you, you snap you snap Grico's neck, and okay. I'll deal with Tollback, all right? Yeah, that's fine, um, I'll do that. Gideon, yeah. Yeah. hi, it's Twig, hi. Hey, Twigsy, what's up? Um... Here's a sack of bones. Oh, I can't do this plan right now. I gotta eat a sack of bones. Wait a minute. What? Yeah, you too. Do you have the I'm golden hungry, bell, man? Yeah, we're 
hundred years ago. Ah, thank you, thank You're you, welcome. thank you. I appreciate. Remy, that. this isn't important. There probably is no reason for concern at this time. <laughs> 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 what kind of bones are they, if you don't mind me asking? Oh. <clears throat> These are bones that were given to me as a gift for my hospitality and for a room from someone who was part of the soggy court. Oh, like real expensive bones. Like soggy oh, I don't know. bones? I don't know where they came from, but you know. Mm. I'll take them. Well, oh, hey, hey, no, you These can't have them. What the hell's the matter with you? Do you know how much soggy bones could fetch? No, they're not. In the no, black no, market? No, listen, they're, they're for soggy. eating. You don't sell soggy bones. The bones aren't soggy. Nobody's you know, gonna she buy starts soggy to get bones. Bigger, uh, and she starts to she starts to like meld with her shadow. No, but it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. He didn't mean what he said about your twig. He didn't mean it. Right, Gideon? You didn't mean it. I didn't even say, what? I didn't mean it. Yeah, why are you saying soggy bones? We should probably charge him triple for the price and split the gold. I don't charge anybody anything. Anyway. Well, that's your first problem. (laughs) What the fuck are you doing? Don't Ah! cut me! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's fine. Twig, what are you doing? What are you doing today? You got to clean... You got to clean some stuff. You gave people a hot Jones. You gave somebody a bottle of something. Two people died in your house. There's no reason to get angry. Everything's going to be fine. Mm. Don't you dare make me boggered out. Listen, I just want those bones, okay? It's been a okay? long day. Hey. What kind of bones? Soggy, not soggy? I want to explain bones? it one more time. Okay. They're from the soggy court. That's the bullywugs that live outside of Scabbath's house. Oh, the bullywug bones or the human bones? No, they're human bones. Oh, thank you. It was just one of the one of the members of the soggy court came to stay inside of my inn once, <laughs> and you know the rules. They had to give me something. I don't really want the bones, but they gave them to me anyway. Mm, for well. what it's worth, Twig, Torbeck really enjoys your coping mechanism. It's not that uncommon for Torbeck to talk to himself to calm himself down as well. I'm sorry, I stopped listening to you. Most people do. (laughs) No, it's just so weird that you look exactly like Frost. It is pretty weird. (laughs) (laughs) But you're not wearing Frost's clothes, though. Wait, does he actually look like he Frost? He looks exactly oh, like no. Frost. Oh, is he like naked Frost that one time? No, Why isn't he wearing Oh, this is a pretty good this is a pretty good act in here we could charge a lot of money for. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? Did you know that we don't use money in the Feywild? What? Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's the big one. <laughs> Bricko, are you all right? It I looks like you might be dying time. again. Oh, I'm dying again. The only cure is gold. <laughs> or equivalent in, in the silver or electrum. I don't take copper pieces. <laughs> <laughs> He's very <laughs> melodramatic. Yeah, I'm not oh. really sure why you resurrected oh, as a cat and you bones. resurrected as a debt collector. Torbeck oh, couldn't you. tell you. You're welcome. You're like the you. equivalent of, oh, oh no. wow, that's happening. It's going straight in. Well, some friends oh. you are. Okay. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, at least I guess chew them. I don't know. Yeah, nah, you can't chew bones. You just swallow them whole. You ever eat like a chicken bone one time? You don't chew it up. You oh, take man. it down. I try not to. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. What? Oh, this is just horrifying. Well, you gave them to me. It's kind of you your asked fault. for them. Well, that's true. Like, why do you keep human bones lying around? I just I didn't want them. I just explain to you why they were here. Have some fucking respect for whoever's bones they are. I don't have respect. <laughs> are there are are bones a common gift in this kind of uh, in this part of the Feywild? Well, you go to the soggy court. Sure, bones are all over the place. Probably. Is that true? Did I say it wrong again? You should probably keep antagonizing Twig and not comforting her. Oh, well, they're soggy bones. I I mean, you know, they're mediocre. Ah! She turns around and runs down down the stairs crying. (laughs) Oh, Frosty, man, you're just so good at things. I I can't believe you would do that. I don't get the sense. That's unbelievable. Okay, not from you, okay? I just don't like who you've become. Well, you know, that's uh, that's what you, you, you know, what you see is what you get. 
I'm a pot-bellied golden tiefling now. I got little <laughs> tiny horns. <laughs> I'm not much taller. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, you kind of look like Philip. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a Phil from Hercules. Fucking yellow guy from Sin City. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no inspiration from no, that. No. No. The guy from Carnival. Yeah. Oh, Corbeck would also like to just go on record as saying that Gideon is eating the bones the right way. Oh, did you want some? Oh no, no bones for Torbeck. Thank uh, you. Well, good. At least you make me make like a human. You know, we can put him in a in a pot. Crammy, you are good. Can, can, can you can you roll, roll a uh, d twenty for me, please? I'm stuck on my D20s. Oh, it's it. Taste some Eight, I'm kidding. 18. You become a proud nudist. <laughs> Am I still paranoid that everyone's actually. Oh, yeah. Me? Yeah, no, I haven't haven't gotten rid of the first one. I've just decided to stack them on you. Oh, my God. My clothes. They've been tainted. They were tainted. What do you mean? Tainted by what? By, by, by oh. all the feds. <laughs> all the feds, they're all in your clothes and your fine silken mm. clothes. I'll take them for, for safekeeping. Please, please, oh, please. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, hey, Oh, yeah, take that off. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Oh, it's magic all over Oh, yeah, here we go, here we go. We don't want to wrinkle it. Okay, here we go. Yes. Oh. Uh, Mr. Kremi, you have the right idea. Torbeck is with you, and he begins to drop frown <laughs> and, and disrobe. Okay, yes. why is everybody just getting naked here? Torbeck has that- been reduced to his natural state and inspired oh, by Mr. Kremmy. Uh, it's divination enchanted thread, Gid. Gideon. Frost, talk some sense into them, man. They just strip down to their bare naked bits. I can't say that I uh, understand the feeling to disrobe suddenly at all. Uh, it's probably <laughs> not a fake curse. <laughs> well, shit, you guys just wanted to do this normal for no reason at all? Uh, How you gonna cook me human bone soup? You're naked. Torbeck, you look terrible. Why can't I cook naked, Gid? <laughs> <laughs> Derek, I'd like you to roll a d20 for me, please. Oh. <laughs> Plus, uh, now you will more easily tell the difference between Torbeck and Frost. Hey, Tor- Torbeck, any feelings of abandonment or uh, displacement that I might have had as friends to in, in this group certainly aren't being heightened by your current appearance. <laughs> Three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll again for me, please. Listen, Frost, that joke uh, that Torbeck again. made all those roll years ago again. wasn't just a joke. Torbeck would never try roll to again. replace Frost. <laughs> 16. <laughs> your, your knee pucks start moving around under your skin. Your nose becomes a flopping penis. You don't notice any no. change in yourself. Well, that's one way to tell the difference between us. <laughs> well, uh, you know, it's been a pleasure. I'm going to go to the, the bathroom. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I, I, I got to I gotta go. I can't eat all these. It's going to fuck. I got to... I can't eat all these bones in here with all these floppy pieces. <laughs> I'll, I'll take those bones off your hands. No, you can't have I'll take your bones, bones off your hands, okay? I'm just saying, I wish they would put their bones away so I could enjoy these bones. This is our natural state. Dude. No, it's not. Your natural state. I've never seen you without a two-piece lapel on, man. That's your natural state. Yeah, and I, now that I feel this way, I mean, I've been restricted my whole life. 700 count Egyptian thread cotton woven in nope. a silken lapel. Egyptian. Is what you have said your natural state was from the moment I met you. Well, those seven hundred twenty-five Egyptian thread counts <laughs> were a prison, and now I'm free, Gid. You should be happy for me. Oh, oh Mr. Tremmy is right. Just... I mean, look at us. Look at him. I gotta use the little tiefling's room. Frost, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Mikey, I would like you to roll a d20. Frost oh. has the right idea. Oh. I gotta take a, a wicked piss. <laughs> I understand what you mean perfectly, Torbeck. Uh oh. <laughs> Careful where you swing that thing, Frost. <laughs> swing what thing? <laughs> careful, careful. I don't understand what you're saying. I got a you giant mean, penis coming you out of your nose. You immediately die. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm going to the bathroom, and I'm and you'll hear like rustling and grunting <laughs> as I get into I get into Are like you a pull soup. An Elvis. <laughs> I, 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 oh, <laughs> somebody give me a peanut butter and banana sandwich. <laughs> no, I, I will get into a really bad. Dis- guys with a big mustache and then I'll, I'll knock on the door hey did anyone order a fed extermination service a very expensive fed extermination <laughs> well there yes. he goes again oh it's the yes, big we one. Did. Oh, it's the 
big one. Uh, Mike, can you send me that list so I can manage it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you can just go- literally uh, just Google expanded reincarnation list. Uh, here, I can send it to you, too. Oh, my God. I, I, th- I think there are assassins around. Oh, I just don't get why everyone's been struck and fucking crazy by something. No, I'm completely unaffected. I don't think why we're in any danger. <laughs> There's not going to be any problem. Uh, uh, can Yeah, can you roll a d100 for me? Please? Oh, you got it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tor- Torbeck is becoming increasingly concerned that Frost might knock himself out. I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, no, I, know, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> this is difficult to maintain. Don't throw your head backwards like that. You're going to mushroom stab yourself. Funny to roll on now. No, you're good. I suppose um, that makes you, sense. You yes. watch as where Gricko, who had become a mammon teeth, tiefling, uh, dropped dead. You begin to see his body elongate. Um, you see his muscles ripple. That similar green color become <laughs> begins to come back to his body but he is what is he wearing my suit? <laughs> he is. And you see how and you see how the suit um contours to his form for a minute but he does not stop growing as oh, the suit no. begins to rip at the <gasps> seams and tear as where had been Grigo and then a mammon tiefling oh, is now an orc in shredded oh. clothing. I'm walking here! <laughs> <laughs> well, this is so certainly no cause for concern. Oh my god. Oh. My clothes killed him. Either that or it was an assassin. I can't talk Both to of those you right now. Very I can't talk to you right now either. What are you talking about? You have a penis on your face, you have a penis on your body. Everybody's naked. We all got penises on our bodies, Gibbs. Yeah. All that? Well, not everybody's totally stark naked while they have penises on their bodies. Here's the problem: get itchy clothes. No, There's some no, sort of magical no. enchantment on your clothes. I'd like you to roll a d20 for me, please. Certainly. Yes. Making you crazy. Don't you start talking to me about my clothes. I'm not taking my clothes off. Let, let me help you out. No, I'm not talking to you. No, get off of me. No. Join us, Gideon. Please <laughs> get naked. Gideon, yeah, come oh, on. Mr. Timmy Rice. Uh, d4. Please. Think of the federal government. We've done a lot of we've done a lot, a lot of bad stuff. Government? We've done a lot of bad stuff, kid. I really can't. You become a spring aladrin. <laughs> as you you watch as yet again uh, Torbeck uh, begins to change. Where uh, once had been uh, a penisless nose frost is now a beautiful spring aladrin. Um, you guys flavored them as I can't remember. Was oh, if if you're gonna keep consistent with, I was gonna try my to summer, summer, uh, summer, 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 summer spring. You were That's what I was. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Zug, well. zug. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Is everything good with you, Rico? You. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that was some sort of transmogrification to see Gid. Oh, what you want? <laughs> I don't I don't want anything. <laughs> Why are you doing that with your eyes, man? Are you, are you, are you, uh, are you okay? <laughs> work work. <laughs> Wait. I, I stand up like in, in the tatters. <laughs> At least you destroyed my suit, thank God. Work, work. And I walk over to the side of the wall and then start smashing into the side of it. Yes, yeah, keep doing that. That's very nice. I'm sure people will appreciate it. No, we're guests here, man. Frosty talk some sense into him. Don't down to break through the wall. Keep doing it. No, don't so keep doing it. Hurry. Something you doing? <laughs> Uh, wait a minute, I'm, I don't have an idea. Twig, it's very important that you don't bring any beverages upstairs. It's extremely important for our own health and safety that you do not bring any kinds of remedies upstairs. Do you understand Okey me? Dokey. And I'm going to walk, I'm going to turn, and I'm going to start walking to get drinks. <laughs> More work. work, work tug, tug. I pray this doesn't work. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the cab. I'm trying to find into the drink cabinet. Sure. Uh, roll an investigation check at disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna have like one negative three and tell it. 
A natural 20 and a 16. That's, actually... <laughs> That's pretty fucking good. Uh, 17. <laughs> you got a natural 20 and it's a 17. Yeah, because the other one was a 16. Okay. Oh, because you're at disadvantage. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, you are looking around, and you, you're looking for a drink cabinet specifically, and you... Misunderstanding you, what Frost said. <laughs> you do eventually find uh, a cabinet that seems to be filled with uh, sachets of tea leaves, um, but you don't find a cabinet that seems to have uh, additional beverages. Work, work. <laughs> Very good, Draco. I just exactly imagine the shit out of it. Is he like down the hallway? Is Something he out of the doing He's downstairs. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> 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 Excuse me. Was that a box of tissues? Oh my god. Pulls it out. Uh, you're screening all that dust. I got no allergic re- allergic reaction to that at all. Keep doing that. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly what I wanted. Please continue. Zug, zug. <laughs> well, oh. Torbeck has never been more happy to be alive. This is. Absolutely fantastic. Look, he's got the right idea. I'm still completely naked, only now I'm hairless. <laughs> <laughs> it's even more freeing without the hair. <laughs> this is who Torbeck was the whole time. Oh, Torbeck can only shade. hope. <laughs> well, I mean, it's weird that, I mean... Gideon, roll a d20 for me, please. If Torbeck had to experience the pain of death and the infinite abyss to experience <laughs> this, well, it was all worth it. 19. Torbeck, I'm gonna, I'm about to blow your mind. Please, when you refer to yourself, try saying, "I." Torbeck. <laughs> no, no, no. Not quite. Not quite. Let's try this again. <laughs> I. Torbeck. <laughs> gonna, I mean, it's a completely different word. You understand? Like it's two syllables versus one. There's no consonants in what I'm saying. You're saying like three consonants. No, how, how about this? Try saying me. Torbeck. <laughs> I'm not sure why this is relevant in the fucking slightest. I'm trying to just give him a sense of, of ownership of himself. Oh. Work, work. And I'm going to come in. <laughs> and over my shoulder is a bunch of shards of like dresser and like clumps <laughs> of tea leaves. Shattered, yeah. shattered planks sh- of yeah, wood. Yeah, shattered yeah. planks of wood. <laughs> shattered porcelain. And I'm going to go, I'm just going to. Uh, awkwardly walk with the shuffling walking animation over to Frost's bed and just chuck it all there. Oh, thank you, Greco. That's where that goes. <laughs> work, work. <laughs> and I'm gonna turn around. <laughs> Something you doing? <laughs> I'm just going back and just smashing the shit out of it. Well, uh, Greco seems busy. <laughs> Um, I mean, is that Gricko? I don't really know anymore in terms of identity. <clears throat> you still think you're Torbeck. Yeah, of course, Torbeck is Torbeck. You would think that, right? But I mean, if you were to die and come back, who's to say you're even the same person? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> what if that person that died is really dead? And when you came back, you you were given all those memories. <laughs> T- but... Torbeck does not like this train of thought. No, Torbeck. No, no, but stop. You must let me stop. Do not torture Torbeck like this. And as this is happening, Gideon, you are staring at Torbeck. Uh-huh. And your eyes drift down to his clearly waxed physique. And you realize that where nipples should be are two spinning Torbeck heads. You're just spinning and spinning and spinning and you don't quite know why. And then as you look up, you realize that 
Are those tentacles coming out of the ceiling as you are overcome by psychedelic hallucinations? <laughs> are they like actual Torbeck heads? Yes. Like bugbear Torbeck Yeah, bugbear uh, Torbeck heads. Oh my. <laughs> Gideon, are, are you all right? You're staring at Torbeck very strangely. I'm looking you right in the face, man. Oh, no, please, oh, uh, no. Gideon, uh, Torbeck's face is up here. Uh. Oh! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See the tentacles coming out of the ceiling? Oh my god. Gideon's oh. definitely not gone. You pull on your face and you realize it's melting. Oh. Your face is made of wax. Oh. It's like guy from Sin City. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Somebody stop the nipples from spinning so much. And the tentacles from having their way with me. Gideon, you're probably not having hallucination. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Are you even shrieking the second side, or do you just take drugs? No. What? It's a close. Come on, Gideon. Come on, help me out here. Come yeah, out. I'll try anything at this point, man. <laughs> Tentacles just broke me. Yes, Gideon. <laughs> the time is now. Please join us. Get uh, naked. Okay. I help Gideon get naked. Okay, monkeys. Okay, whatever you, <laughs> you say. You help Gideon get naked, and it's right around this time that Twig comes upstairs. She's wearing very large gardening gloves. She's got a beekeeper's um, helmet or a beekeeper's hood over her head. It is over her her bonnet too. Uh, she has her pair of glasses on, but over that she has a pair of goggles. Um, she's wearing um, what appear to be um, overly dirty overalls and big, um, uh, big like water boots. Oh fuck! The fader rallies are here to blast us all. Oh my god! We do not need your help. <laughs> she looks she looks between all of you as she reaches into a pouch at the side um at the side of her um of her hip and she, <laughs> she pulls out <laughs> Why is it a wretch now, Jared? <laughs> Something about beekeeper helmets <laughs> <laughs> wow, Frost, that's uh, that's that's even far for Torbeck. <laughs> what what is? <laughs> please, please, be careful where you point that thing. Yeah. Point one thing. <laughs> oh fuck! When did a rhino get here? <laughs> uh, oh. I've since basically made several trips, and the entire rest of whatever cabin I went to, the wreckage is on Frost's bed. I'm just been standing there. <laughs> <laughs> Something you doing? <laughs> the room starts to melt away as it swirls around uh, the orc. Is he like a like sitting in like a Buddha seat as the colors swirl together? Hello, hello, hello! <laughs> Is there anybody in there? <laughs> As the orc peon heads are flying, and singing Pink Floyd at you. We, we haven't damaged your house. We do not need any help at this time. She completely ignores you as she looks around. She sees her inn being completely destroyed, and she pulls out a very large sunflower. And she begins to squeeze the um, she begins to sque- squeeze the uh, the stem of the sunflower, and it begins to squirt rainwater all over all of you. Uh, and she is just raining rainwater all uh, over you. Me, not that kind of orb. Kind of I hope this doesn't you fix this. Shut up! Stop being a rat! I hope oh this God, doesn't awaken anything in me. And she just she's just spraying you all, and as you feel the water washing over you, at first you're alarmed by it, but you eventually feel yourself coming to your senses. And your penis nose goes away. The feeling of needing to lie goes away. Oh. You still want to eat human bones. But the hallucinations are washed away. As, and DM, feel free to say that this doesn't happen. As the. I'm not the, done explaining oh. what's going on. <laughs> you feel yourself come back to normal. You are ashamed now that you are not wearing any clothes, and you see oh that your clothes God. are in tatters on, tor- on uh, Gricko's gigantic orc form. No! Gricko, you are Gricko. <laughs> But your body does not change back into that of a goblin. But you're, you re, re, you retain your Gricko mind. 
visto. <risa> A similar thing happens to you as well, Torbeck. You feel <coughs> that you are Torbeck, but your body is still that of a spring Aladrin. Oh, 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 no, please don't turn Torbeck back to... Oh. <laughs> what? That's, that's very sad. That's a little sad. Mm. Uh, they're... All these splinters! Oh! Oh, it. Oh! Grigo, it sounds like you're, you're back a little bit, at least a little. You're no longer Gorko. Oh! I wanted to make that joke earlier, but I was a liar. Me need, I mean, oh, I need uh, Jones dead! <laughs> Twig, thank you for ignoring me. I couldn't tell the truth, and I had no way of getting around that problem and ask for help. Grigo destroyed the main room of the inn. I'm sorry. My life's work has been splintered. And just... It's it's everywhere. Surely, Torbeck and the rest of his friends can help you. I know I can. I, oh. will, I will make this right. I have the ability to mend, as you saw he earlier. He smashed all of my hot Jones. Oh. I'm the last one. Oh, you killed. It's just all on Frosty's bed. You killed thirty-two <laughs> hot Jones. Yeah, hey, gonna have to dig oh. some more graves out there. No, it's not splinters. It's not Gricko's blood. It is just Jones' blood. Oh yeah, tiny ribs. <laughs> tiny, tiny ribs. That's Good as new. Mm. Nah, I don't think Greg goes back. I think he's a Muppet or something. <laughs> are we all? Do you have any more of that sunflower? Uh, are Are you able to help the rest of my friends return back to their normal state? Help! Um, help! Torbeck does not need any help. <laughs> Wait, I can minute, help Torbeck. with whatever ails you mentally, but your physical transformation—I don't know why your penis went away. I think it's because I didn't want you to sneeze anymore, and I wished for it really hard. Um, <laughs> what penis? I, I, all I could—the only issue I had was that I could tell the truth. Yeah. What, uh, what do you mean? Oh my! You had a giant tiger penis grow. Out of your oh. Oh. Giant penis? <laughs> Can everyone put some fucking clothes on? I have like my, I grabbed my hat and I'm just like holding it in front of my nether region. Why is your sleeve uh, stuck together like it's glued? <laughs> Rico cannot help that Kremi has extra tight pants. This is just how. Gricko stands now! It just looks like a fucking roll of gold coin <laughs> in a sock. It's a nightmare. It's like if you were to put a thong over an elephant. Yes. yes. Their head, though, you know? I suddenly feel like spaghetti dinner. <laughs> Can you put my clothes back together, Frost? Oh, yes, I'll be in there. I don't know what happened to you. Could you never do that in my house ever again? We weren't able to control ourselves, and, I, and as I'm talking, I'm using my psionic abilities to re-stitch where the tears are and, and, and work oh. the fabrics back together. You owe me. Take my fucking pants off and I... Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness, that is graphic. <laughs> Torbeck is, is alarmed. I think oh. we should all just be really pleased and happy that Hootsie's been downstairs the whole time. <laughs> we all turned to yeah. Hootsie's in the corner of the room. Hootsie's downstairs doing like a bitch. It's a hard cut to Tootsie doing a paint by number. <laughs> <laughs> downstairs. Listening to the music, huh? Yeah. The background of work or Grinko was like, whoa, what? Yeah. Smashing the cabinet. She's like, oh. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> it's so big. Uh, hmm? uh, 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 uh. Oh, uh, me and decent. Uh, me go put on clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. oh God! It's so big. Be careful! Be careful, Dwayne. Step back. The thing's three quarters your height. <laughs> <laughs> He hurried up, Frost. <coughs> I mean, I'll get dressed. It, it, it takes as, as long as it's gonna take. 
I'm working as fast as I can, but there's a limit. And uh, yeah, take some of this pillow for it, man. Wrap yourself you up. Owe me a mm. great debt for what you've done to my house. Mm. Put, put your shirt back on, Gia. Have some respect. Oh God, I forgot I was completely naked. Well, I don't know if I got got you all the way undressed, but <laughs> <laughs> at least partially. Oh, oh okay. no, Tor- try toga. It's very freeing. <laughs> oh, yeah, Torbeck okay. was very thorough. <laughs> <laughs> My pants are off. Oh, yeah. that's absolutely. I understand yeah. that all you want to talk about is the fact that you're naked, but you've destroyed my house. Can you take something seriously for once? Yeah, Gideon, you destroy you house. Stop talking. Mm, okay. <laughs> Look, Remy. Oh, wait. I'm going to get to work right away at yes. redeeming ourselves. No, that's not what's going to do it. You have to do what I want now. Okay. And I want to go on an adventure. Okay. Oh, just well, say the word. We're kings of adventure. I know. What kind of adventure would you? I like? don't know. What are you guys going to next? We well, had a couple of to find a new tailor. <laughs> <laughs> where, where do you buy pants, Gorko? <laughs> where's this? Uh, where's this inn currently walking to? I mean, that's kind of our biggest hangup. Uh, I was. I set it on a path to find Telling Me Hill, because that's where you said you guys had to go next. Yeah. But we can't find Telling Me Hill. It's nowhere to be found. Wait, is Telling Me Hill before or after we're going to meet with this bear and prince? Before. <coughs> oh, we got to find yeah. Greta the Goblin. What was the name? Jingle Jangle. Jingle Jangle the Goblin. No, that yeah, wasn't Jingle it. I think it was Grixie or something. No, it was Jingle Jangle. No, I don't no, know. The, the, the one with all the keys. The Pixies? I think one of your wives is named Grixie. Oh, that's entirely possible. I, can't, man. <laughs> I can only keep about three or four of them in my head at once, and even then. Uh, Torbeck yeah. is uh, slightly out of the loop. Uh, Torbeck, of course, has no home or nowhere to go, so Torbeck is more than happy to accompany all of his best friends. Just uh, fill Torbeck in, please. I'm still completely naked. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. <laughs> oh, oh Grico wants to fit in. I just dropped my toga. Uh, ah, very well, Grico. Very thunk. well. Thunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> well. Oh, me elephant. <laughs> 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 Is that the sunflower again? What's... See my trunk? <laughs> it makes sense that we can't find the goblin named Jingle Jangle. The Tell Me Hill, I understand, is a moving hill. Yes, the Tell Me Hill is, the best way to describe it is, it is a hill that moves. Yes. Um, okay. Oh, so the hill itself is essentially an entity. Okay. <laughs> And it is, um, it can't talk for itself because it's a hill, you know? Okay. I should cast that in some good shot. No, it was very funny. I was almost there. I, 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 I was so ready. <laughs> uh, she, she snaps her fingers, and you watch as, um, as Pigtunia makes her way over to Gricko and snorts all over you, and you find that you are unable to speak. <laughs> Um, He's still totally missing, though, right? <laughs> Torbeck, the only one concerned that Gricko might be having a stroke. No, he does this sometimes. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it usually it only happens after you punch him in the face once, and he starts to do this, and generally happens. Mm-hmm. It's possible Pig too, he just broke his jaw. She spit on him, and it broke his jaw. It's a little bit of a you know a light feather, you know, as it is. So <clears throat> He looks pretty rough. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind if you actually broke his jaw, you know, for good measure. No, he's, like, well, now he's not talking. If I break his jaw, he's going to start selling popsicles. And you, <laughs> as you breathe in this um, strange pig magic, you feel your body shrink down and you become a goblin, but you're still silenced. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, uh, Torbeck thinks it's uh, uh, extra important that he mentioned something right this instant. Yes. Uh, please keep the pig far away from Torbeck. This is an incredible upgrade for Torbeck. Very rarely does anything go well for Torbeck. This is going very well. Torbeck would like to stay like this. Oh, I have no control over that. But sure, Pig Junior doesn't have to go anywhere near you. I, you're fine, I guess. Anyway, tell me hill is a hill, right? And it's Ascension Hill. But it can't talk because it's a hill. That would be really weird, it's right? It's a if... sentient hill? Yeah, totally. 
That's why it moves around. It is a hill that is a creature, or is it a hill that is uh, a hill. It, it has the capacity for thought, and how, yeah. how, how do we know this? How, how, how oh, have you heard this? because it is covered with willow trees, and it talks to people through the willow trees. Oh. And Jingle Jangle is on Tellamy Hill. Yeah, Jingle Jangle has a house at the very top of Tellamy Hill. Oh. Well, it's not really a house she lives there. as much as it is a cave <clears throat> with a keyhole shaped door. And she's become best friends with Tellamy Hill. They protect each other and stuff. And the last I heard, a little birdie told me this. And mm. I do mean that. It was a birdie that came over and told me. Mm-hmm. Apparently, there were some hair and gone ruffians out and about, and they accosted Jingle Jangle. They stole some of her keys. They called her a bunch of mean things, pushed her around. She was really sad and crying, so she ran up to the hill, Shit. and she hasn't left her little house ever since. Uh, well, <sighs> that's very important information. I'm glad you told us all of that, in spite of our behavior and appearance. You looked like you were really out of your mind. <clears throat> I want to blame you for what you did, but your nose was a penis. You're not even who you used to be. Uh. I don't believe everyone that was, was naked high. at one point, yeah. and I just feel like I just feel like as much as I want to be really mad, and I did almost bogart out downstairs. Mm-hmm. I can't be as mad as I want to be because I don't know what happened to you, and I think it might have been my fault. I don't have any recollection of having a nose penis but everyone seems to be in agreement now you did um mm. here's here's we now seem you to smell be... like those trees that smell exactly like penis <laughs> and your sleeve is just stuck oh, together yeah. oh, you penis mean trees. The, the, in the spring it smells like sperm <clears throat> yeah you got them they're like sperm trees they I smell hate just those like those trees they're all over this awful place yeah. in the Bay Why wild the Lorax? it's <laughs> actually <laughs> No, there's this there's this horrible place in the Feywild. It's in the Mercandraw called Pennsylvania, and those trees are everywhere. Yeah, it's all over Pennsylvania in the Mercandraw. Oh my God, sm- this is a real thing. Oh yeah, sperm trees. Yeah, it smells just like them. That's how yeah. you know you had a penis nose. Yeah, when they're blooming in the spring. Well, it's never really the spring in the Mercandraw. Mm-hmm. They're just awful trees. Mm-hmm. They smell like sperm. Twiggy, I kind of assume you've been here all by yourself. I'm surprised you know what sperm trees smell like, but... Well, so here's the thing. Before the hags showed up and splintered Prismere into their three horrific little realms of their own, it used to be a really beautiful place. Yeah. And... The end at the end of the road used to be able to go everywhere. I could go all over the Feywild if I wanted to. I mean, I stuck to Prismere, but I could go all over it if I wanted to. Now I'm stuck in Hither, and I'm never going to be able to get out. Ever. Well, uh, we can probably change that. That's the plan. Um, after what I watched today, I don't think you'll be able to accomplish anything of value. Grigo, uh, can you speak to me in your mind? Am I able to do that? That depends. Uh, oh, wait, quick, first thing, first thing. It looks like that you were trying to say something, and I don't like yeah. to do charades, as you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, charades are really fun. Well, there's a time It's like, place. you know, when you're, you're meeting with, like, the new couple in town, and you don't have anything no, in common. No, you can't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you can reach out, but it's like oh. his mind has been silenced. The magic of silence is mind uh, blank. broken, yeah. broken my ability to communicate with you, Grigo. I see that you need something, but, uh... Oh, you I, can wait. buy my popsicles anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you see the sound of wind whistling through a cave. <laughs> Gringo, Gringo, Gringo. Uh, Twig, this is hugely important information. When you say you want to go on an adventure with us, uh, yeah. do you want us to perhaps uh, uh, make pretend and simulate an adventure here, or are you looking to... No, Join our party thinking, and go on a quest. Yeah, I was thinking that I would pack up the inn at the end of the road. I mean, never get any any visitors anyway outside of you guys mm-hmm. um, in the longest time. So I figured I'd just pack it up and I'd just travel with you for a while. Can we just use the inn to get around, you know, instead of walking through the swamp? This <clears throat> seems a lot easier. Inn's really slow. Inn's really slow, Grammy. 
<laughs> How far we moved since this started? We like, not walked, at all? We could have walked three to four times the distance that the inns made. Well, I think we know why we haven't found Tell Me Hill. <laughs> we're still in the same fucking spot we were when we started. Only five minutes have passed. My milk is still warm. <laughs> this has been a crazy five minutes. But the thing is, <sighs> you were able to get a long rest, which you couldn't have done if you were walking on your feet. That's no, right. I mean, that's that's very true. It's the best of both worlds. It's slow, but it has a lot of good things about it. Are we really at a time crunch? I mean, this is just awfully nice. Krimi will walk, get exercise, we'll be able to talk and see the sights of Prismere, and then we'll have an inn every single time we decide to stop. Did you sneeze in your milk? It has a weird film on the top. I thought that you frothed it, but I do see now <laughs> what has happened. <laughs> <laughs> Torbeck is uh, with Mr. Krabby. <laughs> Torbeck agrees. Torbeck has no plans, past, present, or future. Torbeck has never really had plans with anyone outside of Guy's Night. Torbeck is in. Look, we're not in a rush. Well, and he's a perfect example. I mean, the only thing that's a time crunch for us was getting back to Guru and paying off our debt. But we had like a month to do that. He was in the Feywild for like an hour without us, and he's been there for years. Please oh, don't God. remind us. Oh, me. yeah. Well, they sorry about me that. about Guru. Well, all I'm saying is mm-hmm. we might be able to be here for like, we could be here for like, you know, 20 years, and it'll be like maybe a week in the real world. You so. want to stay with me for 20 years? No, no, that's not what I said. Torbeck uh, was in a like, crippling no. mind prison. Twig. Listen, man. I'm, it would not I'm, be a burden to stay with you for 20 years. You're very thanks, sweet. Boss. I mean, I don't honestly wouldn't mind it. I mean, this could be our base of operations. We can relax, hang out, have a drink, have a smoke. We can chat, play cards. Torbeck can't remember the last time he had milk that wasn't sour or chunky. Well, he can't get the milk anymore. He went downstairs and broke straight into the cabinet. All of it's on the floor. No, we're going to fix all that. <laughs> what we can just use wizard magic and just... Can't, can't, Frost can do that. He can just do mm, beans. You know what I mean? Well, well, he killed all the Johns, okay? We can't have any more hot Joneses. Well, yeah, the Joneses. Oh, here's did. the thing, okay? Did you hear that? Yes. There's someone yelling in the night. Hootie about- must have completed one of her uh, <laughs> one of her uh, her uh, I did. drawings. <laughs> yeah. Paint by numbers. <laughs> anyway, you're not really welcome here anymore. <laughs> that that was brutal, even by Torbeck standards. <laughs> oh, oh, I guess we did sort of wreck the place twice. Yeah. So I'm happy to pack it up and come with you on an adventure. But yeah, we can do that. You're really gonna have to work for it if you want to stay back in this place again, because he was unhinged. He was Greco unchained. When he was downstairs, I. W- <laughs> oh no, the hags are out. Mm. It, well, perhaps it was one of those owls. There's no fucking way it's Tom, right? He couldn't have made it to the Feywild. <laughs> Tom? I swear to God, it was Tom. If it's fucking Tom, Is from outside of, outside of Magical's oh, place. Oh, you mean old musical Tom? Oh, fuck, it could be Tom, oh, man. Oh, wow, oh, I forgot about Tom. Just singing at the top of his fucking lungs while we were getting the prelude to our big quest. It's fucking Tom. Just out in the fucking middle of the pumpkin patch, singing yeah, like not a damn care in the world. Shut the fuck up, Tom. Yeah. Well, Torbeck's not sure, but that sounds pretty whimsical to Torbeck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I it was pretty whimsical. I have heard Tom seen, seen outside of this place in probably 200 years. Wow. We will earn your trust again, Twig. I hope so. And is there anything that I can, if there's anything extra special before we pack it up that you would like repaired immediately, I'm happy to do it now. My entire main floor? Mm -hmm. (coughs) Yeah, it was pretty fucked up. You should have seen him. I was standing there in front of the hearth and he was just slamming his head and everything, <laughs> drooling all over the place. I could hear it. Yeah, he picked up a he picked up one of the meat cutters and he was using it like an axe and trying to chop down a pillar in my house like it was a tree. He really zugzugged. Oh man, he sure did. You gotta know when he gets in a state like that, you gotta grab a blackjack and just whack him over the back, straighten him right out. Not tall enough. 
and I was too scared to go full bogger. Oh, yeah. You have no way to put him back to how he was? He is how he is. No. He's a little tiny goblin, already said. Wait. Is he he's a goblin currently? You could look at him but, right now. But, why he's keep oh, why he's continuing to make that Sorry. face? I don't know. It's like well, I think it's because he, he just pig spit on him and <laughs> fucking melted his mind. No, it's because he finished my milk. <laughs> 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 he was silenced and then you lobotomized him with big snot, you know? I think that might be why his, his, his face doesn't work too good no more. To be fair, he died twice in less than a minute. I... <laughs> it could have been that. Yeah. It could have been that. Uh, Do you think that he's in a, in a state now? I mean, his head's lolling all over the place, so I'm thinking no. But do you think he'll eventually get to a state where I can unsilence him? I do know how to solve this problem. How? Let's take him downstairs, and we'll get him with Hootsie, and he'll be back to uh, his normal, good-natured self. Oh, Hootsie. One of the casualties of his war rampage. What are you talking about right now? He hit her in the head with a cabinet. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> he hit our niece in the head with a, with a cabinet? Yep. A whole cabinet while she was painting and coloring me mine? <laughs> Full yep. of plates and other ceramic wares. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh, is she okay? Man. We gotta take a look at her immediately. Yes, let's she go downstairs right away. Day. What is happening? Why didn't Wait. you leave with that? Is this like the pumpkin? <laughs> is this like the peanut allergy? Where Hootsie's been like, oh, somebody save me. Somebody save me. And he's the only one that can hear her. He fucking lobotomized him. And Hootsie's been down there for 25 minutes. I have exactly 26 minutes to live. <laughs> This is I'm quite the development. I'm 26 minutes. There's a timer. There's just a, a, a an orc, a, a smashed hole in the floor. The last and who, eyes blinking. And Hootsie is just yawning. <laughs> Can we take a break before we find out a favorite? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, what a oh. fucking whirlwind that was. Yes, you have just been informed. That in his rage, um, or in his work, uh, his his heavy work ethic, mm-hmm. his <laughs> fervor for work. His fervor oh, for work. I come to and I'll say, oh, I can't speak. <laughs> I'll still say, oh, Hootsie, where is she? I'm afraid in your rage you killed her. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I had to. I, was, uh, I helped by being one of the crumpled. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what is that from? No, it's the Star end of uh, uh, spoilers for <laughs> for you episode do not three. Have to do a spoiler. Rise of the attack of the Sith of the. It's when Ryan it, it, Johnson it's turned into Darth Vader. Sith. Sith. Uh, it's very hard to say. Menace Sith. That's how. It, that's the title. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the Menace Sith. That was my original working title for the for the boss in Arc Two, but here we are. Menace. It sounds like a Lord of the Rings elf name. Come along, Menace. What do you see with your elf eyes, Menace? We'll ride Shadowfire. 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 Menace Terrace. <laughs> Can we get some Are ch- they gonna play D&D? Can we get some cherry uh, uh, tomatoes? Hold, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, so one more time, it's, uh, uh, Caboose, what does your ooze anus see? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that. <laughs> that's... <laughs> 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 If he could, if he could look through a door with his anus, and, uh, and I was like, oh, I guess you're made of liquid, so that's your choice. And so I took a glowing juggle ball and shoved it up one anus to go out the other anus. <laughs> and he kept going like this. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. The kisses. Hootsie is dead. <laughs> Hootsie's not me. Hootsie's I'm dead. So I agree with chat. Hootsie's had a... And and we and we raced downstairs. Yeah. She's dead. So here's the thing. No. This, 
this is my fault, and not even because I gave them the twist of dreads, but because I sat them down beforehand and I said, we don't need to progress really quickly with yeah. the story today. Yeah. I want Torbeck to get um, more acquainted with everyone, rebuild yep. that bond. So got, yep, and so everyone got <laughs> naked and uh, got Frost to know came each in other. his milk. Yeah. Yes, that's why they call me Morning Froth now. <laughs> I'm just gonna steal your jokes. You put the jokes in, and I look like a million dollars. I think half of my jokes are just stolen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yoink, yoink. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah, yoink. Uh, you're the ones who put it. Yeah, as soon as it leaves your uh, royalty. Anyway. I need a better seat to steal jokes. Oh, you've got a dread if uh, you want to uh, wear it back the, in over my writers. Thank you, Winnie. Hey, oh, I know, I know, I know you. you. I know you. It's the infamous Ola. Give our cat some head scritchies. Uh, Scritchy scratchies. Did we get this one? Lulu the Wear? No. I don't think so. Thank you for the twist. Thank so, you. Oh, so happy to be here. Yeah, Have another true. twist. Uh, it'd be a rough Thank night you. with those body morphing I, ex, exp, experiences. Uh, uh, Valak <laughs> cheered 500 bits. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Uh, and is that, is that it? Uh, 46 <laughs> Lost Streets Pre and Browser. Oh, Sir Optimal resubscribed for 46 fucking months. So we're two oh, geez, almost four yeah, years. Four geez. straight years. That's one of the highest I've ever yeah. seen on any channel. We were talking about this the other day. I saw like a 57 and that was like crazy. I mean, that's not far off from 46. Mm. Uh, good God. Yeah. Yeah, I, do we have any, do I know of, how, how many people do you think are like nearly two, four years? Probably Can't Nikki, be that many. Nikki. I think you've got Derek, like every Mike, Nikki. Me? Yeah, you got to be up there. I was not subbed for the first like five or six months. But that's not, I mean, that's pretty fucking crazy. That's got to be five years old. You've got to be up there. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, 46 is very impressive. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And then just thank you too, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel? Oh fuck! Yeah. We also have a shop. I did uh, not yeah. before and we get a hundred. Exclamation mark merch in the chat. Ring the, but ring did the bell, you smash that bell? <laughs> Select all. Uh, did you smash the bell? What is happening to Hootsie? Yeah, we gotta get back. No. Again. Well, I didn't. Don't tell Rich though, because he'd be really upset. Well, uh, before Derek gets into another conversation about Spain, I propose we go find out <laughs> <laughs> what happened All to Hootsie. Right. Yes. Yeah. You are Where's... upstairs at the inn at the uh. end of the road, and you've just been informed by Twig that Hootsie did suffer um, a casualty in the um, <gasps> Grico... This is my fault, yeah. ...destruction <laughs> phase. It's going to be all right, Grico. Hootsie? Hootsie? I look and try to get a sense of whether she's... Oh, you're heading downstairs? Oh, yeah. Oh, God, she's unresponsive. Hootsie. You... We, I'm yelling her name as I run down. You yell her name and you hear her hooting gently. She's still alive, Greco, come on. Greco, come... you can speak now. <laughs> but for how long is up to you? Uh, oh... <laughs> Oh, it must feel like they died twice. Torbeck <laughs> 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 oh, yes. Frosty, yes, uh, I tried to tell you with my mind. Mm -hmm. With those terrible Pennsylvania trees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no wonder they call it the Merc in Draws. <laughs> it's very funny, Rico. Your daughter is perhaps bleeding out. <laughs> Possible brain trauma downstairs. No, that would never tree happen. Jokes. Not in my anger. I would never hurt her. You're a liar, <laughs> liar. And I'm gonna run down. Um, I'm first to the main floor where I'm sure it's chaos. You get to the main floor and it is absolutely chaos. The area that you remember seeing where uh, Twig had gone to make you all of your drinks that was um, organized and she had her step stools has completely been splintered. Uh, the cabinets have been ripped from the walls. The, um, the bar table is split in two. Um, the chairs have been thrown this way and that. There are liquids... Um, from all types of beverages that are just coating every surface you can possibly find. The four wooden tables and chairs that had been there are all smashed into wooden pieces. And Hootsie is laying off to the side next to the roaring hearth. Um, and you can see that she has a small bandage wrapped around her head and there's pieces of splintered wood um, all around her. It looks like Twig had administered some oh. first aid and she is licking at her paws 
and uh, making little hooting noises. Oh, Hootsie! Oh my gosh, did you see that terrible orc that was in here? Don't worry, Papa killed him. I tortured him and he is dead. Don't worry. Don't worry. I am so sorry. I am so sorry this happened to you. She snuggles up next to you and she she hoots and um, <clears throat> owl purrs. I don't know what it sounds like. She doesn't seem to understand that the orc and her father are the one one in the same. I'll look at her. Oh, you can read right through me, Hoochie. Yes, it was me. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. You, gosh, you, your inside score is so high. You can just read me like a Book. Oh, I'm sorry, Hootsie. I was on drugs, not intentionally. <laughs> Hootsie, oh. it was a lot of drugs, all right? It's not his fault. Oh, we gosh. We were really high. Yeah. She, um, she looks up at you with oh. her, her round um, owlbear eyes, and she uh, nuzzles into you with her beak and um, and hoots. Oh, God. You, gosh, Hootsie, you are just the best. You are so forgiving. I'm sorry. Can I make it up to you? So remember... Don't ever, when you look at uh, Papa and all of your uncles acting a fool, uh, remember, uh, remember what Mister uh, R says. Uh, uh, don't do sleep. Get eight hours of drugs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, and then stay in school, man. That's the last piece. Uh, do eight hours of drugs and stay in school. That's uh, how it stay in it. school. Yes, yeah. uh, Hootsie. I don't see any of the <laughs> tiny uh, corpses of Hot Jones around here. Did you consume <laughs> all 32 of the other Hot Jones? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well done. That's you fun. you look down and you can see that as as she is um, she's taken her beak and um, <clears throat> clenched down on part of Grico's shirt and is dragging his almost unconscious body closer to the fire as she begins to snuggle up with him. You see that she moves part of her um, her haunches and there is a small pile of Jones bones. Oh. <laughs> Jones bones! <laughs> Are they like an owl pellet for her? Yeah. <laughs> There's a bunch of like, brown paper out <laughs> Yeah. Old Bay and like corn yeah. sauces. Red, and ribs. And a natty yes. bow. A natty bow. <laughs> a little plastic container of melted butter. Yeah. <laughs> We're going downy fey wild, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, Hootsie is good to see you 100%. Take one of these, huh? Chew on this bone. I give her a human bone. <laughs> she begins to chew on it. Oh. <laughs> yes, same. <laughs> oh, it, oh. Um, are you really sure you can't stop yourself from doing that? Uh, well, I haven't tried, but I don't often try and stop myself from doing things, you know? Well, sometimes you just got to live life in the moment, Frosty. You can't get caught up in, you know, responsibilities or consequences. You just got to... You know, grab life by the balls and shake it around. Long term, uh, your, body, I wake up. your body can't break down those bones. Do you, you know what's going to happen long term to your system? What? Uh, no. I live my life, you know, just like a couple seconds at a time. Um, I don't know much about a genie biz, but he is half a freedy. Isn't it like a blast furnace down there? Yeah, yeah I, I think once like I put it in, it just yeah, I'm pretty sure it just all goes to straight charcoal, you know. <laughs> yeah, just, I hope so. Otherwise, uh, passing a whole femur. I, know, look, I mean, yeah, Torbeck's diet is 30% bones. <laughs> Torbeck's been fine thus far. Yeah, I got a fire in my belly, so we're all good. Oh, I'm sorry, Hootsie. So she's not gonna die. No. All right. So this adventure. So- Here, gonna- eat a banana. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, heaven! You look so skimmy. Oh, <laughs> even after all those hot Joneses you ate. Oh. <laughs> She had 32 hot jokes. Oh. <laughs> she had 32 whole bases. Oh, she can't possibly have that. She can't look like that. I couldn't possibly have a 34. <laughs> oh, before we go. She looks like the uh, chonky cat on the uh, jaw. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, no, coming. she's coming. Oh, no. oh, um, do you have a doggy bag for the uh, several remaining lukewarm Joneses? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> strewn about her just lower halves and upper and halves. And there's actually a couple of uh, room temperature Joneses. Uh, so I don't know if you have a hootsie bag for that. Um, well, considering you destroyed most of the downstairs of my house, no. Uh, oh, well, we'll just throw it in the rat snack bag. <laughs> Are you sure that I can't repair at least a few of these special trinkets for you? Well, I, I never said not to. I thought that you were prohibiting us from... No, 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 no. I just said that that's not enough to make up for the strife that you've put me through today. I don't get to work right away. I'll pull my Thank robe you. sleeves up and I will immediately start to go to the shelf now that I understand <coughs> you have her permission. Uh, and I will... It's like putting together the, the world's largest puzzle. All these trinket pieces have been crashed into one in, uh, another, and I'm like figuring out what piece goes to what and using mending as much as possible to try and Rubik's Cube them back into their configuration. <sighs> so, this is really awkward now. Just hanging out here while your owlbear eats pixie bones and your genasi eats human bones. And... Well, I mean, she's carnivorous. And I guess so is he, sort of. <laughs> yeah, and I'm hungry. <laughs> you have nothing that can, like, get everybody 100% back to normal. Oh, so oh, is he. Oh, Mr. Krabby, let's not be too hasty here, please. <sighs> Torbeck is very happy. Torbeck can't remember the last time he's been this happy. There's no need to, to rush into anything. Ah, just, it doesn't feel right, Torbeck, you know? It feels like... Torbeck disagrees. <laughs> Torbeck thinks that nothing's ever felt more right. What What does his spring eladrin look like? Look like? Uh, I guess I would be, well, not as tall as Torbeck, but tall and thin and, and very green. handsome. And green. Oh, I'm green, mm. apparently. Uh, Thank your, you for letting me know. Your hair is um, intermixed with ivy and um, plant And I'm very clearly matter. waxed. Uh, yeah. I was told Beautiful I was waxed. male poison yeah. ivy. Like, like the statue of David. Yeah, yeah. actually okay. very, yeah, male poison ivy is probably And I'm also great. still naked. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody touch me. Torbeck or doesn't. Do. Uh, Torbeck doesn't see any reason to, to to change or revert back to regular Torbeck. This is improved Torbeck. Um, well, I mean Torbeck, it's it's nice that you uh, feel so uh, passionate about it. But yes. you know, <laughs> I'm. Uh, I, I, can you at least put on some pants? You know, I don't want to trap you in some terrible Torbeck mind prison. Uh, Torbeck cannot. <laughs> Put on any pants, Grico. Torbeck cannot. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, I'm going to go this way. Hootsie, let, let's get your paint and bar numbers out of here. Oh, let's clear away all of the splinters. Oh, I found it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's good as new. Good as... Oh, there's hot Jones blood on it. Oh. Oh, here you go. Oh, it's a very pretty kitty. Good job, Hootsie. You beautiful colored in the lines. You made that fey wild taffy? Huh? You got a taffy that, like, you know, has magical properties? No. Dang. Oh, do you have any pig snot? What? Oh, but you, pig want, you want pig tuna to blow her nose all over you? Yeah. Uh, Torbeck, yeah. Okay. No, 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 please. Uh, Tor Torbeck does not want any pig snot. Pig tuna. I, I know that pig sounds cool. out of the ordinary for Torbeck, but no, Torbeck does not want any pig snot. Okay. Off. Sure. <clears throat> Would you do it for a pig tuna snack? What? <laughs> Would you do it for two pig tuna snacks? I don't want to eat pig tuna. Oh, no, snacks full pig tuna. Oh. I shake a box and just suddenly it just says pig tuna on it. <laughs> In like comics. And yeah, and it's, and it's like very tuna. strange. Uh, papyrus. <laughs> it, it's like, it's papyrus very, well, yeah, it's the opening of Avatar, <laughs> the highest grossing film of all time. <laughs> <laughs> As Papyrus. <laughs> I couldn't um, bring the bank on that bought license. <laughs> they go with one of the free so ones. So here's the thing. <clears throat> if Torbeck doesn't want Big Junior to do it, I'm not going to have Big Junior do it because that would be mean. Oh, well, then it's settled. Well, I think the problem, Twigsy, is if you want to go on this... Why you calling me Twigsy? Oh, I just kind of thought it was like a cute name, you know? Oh, okay, like, I like it then. Yeah, you know, you're pretty cute and small and it was kind of <laughs> like, you know, it's like a, like it implies like a fun size, you know, oh. you know, Twig, yeah, Twigsy, yeah. so... If you want to go on an adventure with us, mm -hmm. it's going to be very difficult if, if he stays naked and handsome. Mm. Uh, <laughs> mainly because as he's a, as he is, well, I'm getting to that. And as he's in this form, he keeps, for whatever reason, swaying right to left. 
And as he's doing that, I think he's using his unseemly manhood to hypnotize Gricko. I mean, it's kind of like the statue of David. It's just kind of like out there. It's not like, you know, it's not like Big Green. He's Little Green. Now, right? now, it's very important to state that Torbeck giving up his abnormally large manhood for this beauty is 100% worth it. Yeah, why are you doing that weird swaying from side to side? Torbeck does not know. It why? just feels right. Why, why are you winking at me? <laughs> Well, we make it stop. Here yeah. lies the problem. I don't have any way to make it stop. I only had one summer shower flower, and it did all it could. Oh, oh. Summer shower flower. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not one of these, please. <laughs> Just one, one session. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's about a nice rain shower. Uh, who it's kind of fun. Uh, no, yeah. it's a rain. Right. No. We're gonna end this a lot of fun. Yeah. Summer Tweezy's flower words, shower. Not no, 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 Tweezy's words. <laughs> oh, look, oh, it's now like Mostly Cool Jones. <laughs> mostly Cool. Like fucking Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> At the bottom of the bag, the shattered out of it. <laughs> the dust. <laughs> the blood has actually started to solidify and it's just like flaking off. Oh, the, I got the hot Jones tube. I'm just, I can't, uh, you know, even though I'm a gob and my hands are unreasonably big. I, I should have used chopsticks. Uh, mm. You know, Frost could probably help you out. Use his mind. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can you get the rest of those cool Joneses out of there? <laughs> Uh, an invisible mage hand <laughs> dexterously takes out the mostly cool Jones one at a time for It's you. just the torso. Oh. <laughs> Man, you know, this whole adventure's been unusually macabre, <laughs> but I'm kind of into it. Uh, just one moment, and I go in and I get all five fingers like bugles. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the Gary Goodberry puppet. Oh, oh. But you just see five torsos floating. It's an invisible hand. So they're just all. What a nightmare. This is what happens when you say yes and to the things that they do. Uh, so let's go on that adventure. What are you, what, what are you thinking? Well, I'm just coming along. It's not up to me to decide. Oh. So oh. any kind of adventure will do, as well, long as it's of uh, sufficient adventuring quality. We're gonna go to Tellamy Hill, right? Well, I thought we couldn't find Tellamy Hill. No. Nope. Well, okay. No, well, we gotta look for it, man. Uh, that's what Torbeck thinks. That with that we must begin the search somewhere, mm -hmm. correct? All right. Well, now or never, huh? Well, <laughs> hey, are we not worried that this whole dream thing that we started talking about? Two and a half hours ago, oh. we never got past that the was, first point that of was it. Twenty-three minutes. Ago. <laughs> yeah, we, oh know, yeah, we, can we can we not, unpack that real quick? Well, yeah. I wanted to, but then he saw he sprouted a penis and we yeah, sneezed all over the did place. Not sprout a penis. <laughs> Everyone got naked. You died. <laughs> you died oh, twice. twice. <laughs> yeah. mm. You wanted to kill him again. Yeah, For some, some reason, I, 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 I felt the need to just tell everyone that I was walking there. I don't I don't know why. Well, Why was I walking anywhere? What questions do you have about the dream? It well, seems that we I all just... got the same information. Oh, we Torbeck, do you, do you recognize that uh, that doctor-looking fellow with a large mustache? Oh, yes, that's a good question. Torbeck um, would prefer to perhaps uh, drink and forget. Huh? <laughs> Anyone? That's Anyone, not, Torbeck, that's... to join Torbeck? Uh, that's no. not a no. No. I'm always down to drink and forget. No, no, no. You don't remember when he said, we must collect all the energy sources immediately, <laughs> Torbeck. <laughs> Torbeck. Do you not remember that? <laughs> Torbeck's uh, memory, uh, much like his old body, is still very fuzzy. Are you sure you remember nothing? We can always have the pig sneeze on you if you're lying. Torbeck is remembering. <laughs> Give Torbeck a moment. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I've never seen this kind on the Feywild. <laughs> Oh, ever before. Uh, <laughs> Torbeck is getting bits and pieces back. Uh, the, the faces of, of those individuals are familiar to Torbeck. But Torbeck isn't sure how or why. Mm. Well, I think the thing we got to fucking address is, uh, it, it seems to me, those that's the guy we saw when we got face masked, horse masked, and whatever kind oh. of mask you had. It's the same fucking dude. Set him up with the witch light, yeah. Miz, and... They're talking about, they know exactly where he's at, and they're tracking him. They know where we are right now. Oh, 
I mean, we're being hunted, probably. Torbeck's memories are painful, and uh, Torbeck is most uh, upset that perhaps Torbeck has put all of us in danger yet again. Do you, think, do, do you remember what a, a barn owl, anything about a barn owl? Not Hoochie, she's a great horned owl. I try to recollect uh, if there is any other owl motif in my memory outside of what we saw at the end of the fight. Roll an intelligence check since it's memory based. Sure, give me one second. I just have to pull up my <clears throat> character sheet. Ha 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 ha. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, just straight in? Yeah. That's our first roll of the night. <clears throat> Torbeck uh, has rolled a 12. You think. <clears throat> and you see flashes <clears throat> of magenta light. Oh. Mm. Oh. You Oof. hear the sa- that same sound of the boots on stone. But there are many pairs of these boots. You hear the grumbling of dwarven voices, mm. but in a language you don't understand. Oh. Oh. And you feel the pain of a hot liquid being pumped into your veins. Oh, oh, the boots. But you do not, as you you try to pull anything from your memory, you pull nothing about an owl. Torbeck cannot recall anything about owls. No, nothing. Hmm. What were the boots? Yes, uh, uh, marching, marching perhaps, boots, languages Torbeck doesn't understand. Oh. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, Torbeck doesn't understand very much. Gideon and I saw boots of that strange mustachio doctorman. Yeah, he was wearing boots. Yeah, I don't like this customer. He also was a little bit of a sniveling henchman. Mm. A little bit cliche yeah, from our taste. Definitely cliche. Yeah. Is it possible that the dreams we had was a side effect of the <clears throat> mental manipulation of the... Various gases and <coughs> fluids that Tolbeck subjected us to. Did we all get injected or gassed? I don't know. Uh, I didn't Frosty inject. went down. <sighs> Tolbeck simply remembers flash of light. Hmm. He didn't inject me, but he cut me clean in half and killed me, and then the coffee brought me back. We went dead, dead. Well, you know? I mean, you know, you, you felt that. He way. blacked out for a second. You know what I mean? Yeah. <sighs> but I, it does remind me. Well. Yes, Torbeck? Well, no, no, uh, Torbeck d- did not mean to interrupt. Uh, Torbeck understands that in Torbeck's terrifying beauty, it's hard to take Torbeck seriously, but Torbeck does have something. And Torbeck will uh, reach into, you're not really sure where, but mm-hmm. he, he reaches in and, and, and no. he pulls out uh, a piece of paper. Uh, it looks like paper. It's faded. It's crumpled. It's <clears> folded <throat> over, and you all realize that it is a an, uh, an old faded witch like carnival ticket. Uh, Torbeck was able to hold on to this, and wanted to let you all know how sorry Torbeck is of what happened, and 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 hopes that Torbeck can convey that he understands that you all didn't mean it either. Torbeck. <laughs> Kept this as a token of friendship. It is Torbeck's most prized possession. Well, you hold on to that, Torbeck. You're gonna, you're not gonna lose it. I mean, you know, yeah, that we're sorry. That, uh... No, no, no. Torbeck is sorry, and Torbeck wants to help. Him. So Torbeck will help. No, I mean, we we forgive you. I mean, I I allegedly, in my anger, hit my own daughter over the head while saying, zug, zug, more work, me not that kind of orc. <laughs> so, I mean, it, you know, hey, it happens to the rest of us. With know? the whole cabinet full of filled to the brim with ceramics. <laughs> yeah, Not it's no big lie. deal. It's no big deal, Torbeck. It, it's water under the bridge. We're all pals, you know? Perhaps this ticket can be Torbeck's ticket into permanent friendship. Yeah. With all of you. Yeah, I mean, no, it's it's free of charge. We're free of charge. Oh, you got stamped. It's, oh, you don't even, you hold on to that ticket for when you need it to get out of a bond. That's maybe an IOU for if we ever get separated. Well, I'm just going to say I'd feel a lot better if, uh, you know, Tolbeck, if you were your true self and not <clears throat> afflicted under some kind of horrible transmogrification. Does Mr. Kremi truly believe that this is horrific? 
in a sense. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, no. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to feel sentimental when you're like this. Uh, I mean, you're just not wearing clothes. I yeah, mean, naked elf man. Yeah, he was like jiggling around. Yeah. Can you find clothes? Can you get, get, get a blanket? Torbeck, Torbeck has Torbeck's old clothes. They just don't quite fit Torbeck anymore. Mm. I don't think you wore clothes before. I thought you just furry. If, if Torbeck must <laughs> give up this terrifyingly beautiful nature. Torbeck supposes Torbeck can do that. Um, you know, yeah, and, and you know, it's not like we prefer you this way just because you're traditionally like an elf, right? <laughs> like, oh, after you left uh, the carnival, uh, me, uh, Crammy, and Frosty got turned into a ladder in ourselves, and we ended up being kind of a bunch of weird sex pests. <laughs> and even though we may have been like, you know, appropriately holiday themed or <laughs> more conventionally attractive. It just, it wasn't right, right? It didn't feel right. That's a great point. It didn't feel right at all. And we don't, it doesn't feel right without a tool back we know and love, even with all of the tubes and the whirring gizmos into your flesh and Ugh. blood Ugh. and all of the mind controlling witch light that gets pumped anyway. Uh, and the smell. Uh, oh, oh, right. uh, uh, for for Torbeck's friends, yeah, Torbeck will, yeah. will return. Uh, Twig, do, do you think you might be able to help Torbeck? No. Oh. I keep saying it. I don't know how to do it. I only had one of those summer shower flowers, and he used it up, and it didn't do anything for bodies. How he went back to himself, I don't know. Uh, perhaps Petunia, in all of her infinite wisdom, could help Torbeck. I can't believe you'd call her that. Pig Tunia. Pig Tunia. Oh, Torbeck is okay. very dumb. Torbeck is very. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Torbeck right. wishes intelligence came with this beauty. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll be okay. right back. I'll, I'm going upstairs for a moment. All right, well, goodbye. Pig Tunia, do you want to blow snot all over Torbeck? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. No. Okay. <laughs> He's so silly. Okay. <laughs> No, oh, that's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I know, but I don't know. Yeah, but <laughs> okay, but just do it. Wait, 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 wait! I don't do it, bitch! Don't you stop? Wait, Torbeck just has one last thing, and then he's ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, please, please, keep doing you. All right, Torbeck is ready. It's like a helicopter taking uh, off. Junior, go ahead. And so Pictunia flies over to you, and she you watch as her little curly tail winds up, and her wings flap, and she breathes in a breath of air, and she oh. snorts it all over oh. you, and nothing happens. Oh, this is it! Oh, oh no! Torbeck is turning back into Torbeck! Oh. Uh, uh, Torbeck is confused. Well, you're a little closer now. You're covered in snot. Oh. At least, a, you know, maybe it's a gradual change. Oh, back. well, uh, Torbeck supposes we could monitor it. I'm back down at the bottom of the stairs, and oh, I frosty. have uh, your clothes, Torbeck's clothes. No, oh, yeah, oh, yes. And I have uh, from my pack a towel. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I thought perhaps that would work, but uh, you can't wear these, so if you just. Uh, oh, Tie oh, this around your waist. Right. You can no, be. he can wait. We'll just get him a belt. I mean, you know, if they're a little big, he can roll, you know, roll the sleeves up. All right, all right. Torbeck will squeeze into Torbeck's old clothing, I suppose. <laughs> and I'll just put it on. It's like horribly baggy and like, you know, it's like I'm just like tripping over the, the pant legs. I would like legs. you to uh, roll a constitution saving throw. It smells horrible. Oh, oh, these are... Oh, oh Torbeck has never noticed Torbeck's old stench. It's, oh. like, the, it's like the cringy deviant art, like... You you were able to stomach the stench, but you can definitely tell these clothes have not been washed since you left the car. Let me, uh, let, me, let me fix that up for you, if you don't mind. I'm just gonna, and then you'll see sort of like these puffs of, of neon light. He looks like a pretty boy fan art oh. uh, Babadook. <laughs> does, does, uh, Torbeck is scared a cute to anime boy. Does Torbeck always smell this terrible? Yes. Oh, no. Oh. Sometimes it's worse. Oh, yeah. Torbeck's Torbeck is sorry for yet another thing. <laughs> no, no, you you're fine. So, were we ready to go on another adventure now? Yeah. <clears throat> Hootsie, are you okay? Are you feeling okay, Frosty? I am feeling well. I 
am dressed. I have my pack. I have been recovered from all of my maladies, I think. And, uh, Your nose looks great. Thank you. And, um... Catlock. I did have one question. I know, Twig, that we have done a lot and have asked a lot of you. However, I uh, wondered if we couldn't have perhaps a little bit more of that coffee brew before we pack up the inn and make our way on our adventure. I wish that you could. What I used to... To steep the brew was smashed oh, in orcish rage. Oh, yeah, what a shame. <laughs> what, uh, what, a, what a tragic accident. Um, are there the any bean brew? Or, or, oh, what a tragic I have, accident. I have flasks, I have vials, I figure we... I think once we leave then, we're just going to have to go forage. Well, right. <clears throat> talk we, the old days. We can't even take those boysenberry pies with us. Ooh. Um, yeah, so the thing about that No, is... Grick old man and the cherries berries? Wait, Grick didn't... And the cherries cherries berries? Wait, Grick oh. didn't... Grick didn't do anything to that stuff. I fed all those to Hootsie when she was sad. Oh, oh, oh good. Well, well, thank you very much. She loves cherries berries. She loves the taste of plural. Oh, she thank really you. To. Oh, and well, Twig takes such good care of you, Hoochie. I didn't think you were supposed to mix Hot Joneses with Cherry's Berries. So here's the thing. It was a little horrific looking at the blood of Hot Jones all over her face. So I figured if I couldn't tell whether it was Hot Jones blood or Cherry's Berries or Sherry's Berries, it would make me feel better. And the thing is, totally did. Oh, well, okay. I mean, I guess. Well, it sounds like we don't get any pie. Let's go stomp around in the muck. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Sorry about all this. It's okay. Um, Thanks for taking me on our adventure. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. a great adventure. And, you know, I'll start walking. You know, I always wondered what the red sprinkles and hot Jones was. And I think now I have the answer. <laughs> Hemorrhoids. Uh, <laughs> uh, those hot, those Joneses should have gotten a squatty potty. Oh, that's the snap, crack, one in the pop in there, huh? <laughs> I can ride a bike again. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, you all oh exit God. the inn at the end of the road. And as you exit the inn, uh, you watch as Twig turns around. She utters something under her breath, and you begin to see the the inn twist and and um, elongate and then contract. And it it pops, and there are bits of smoke and and uh, glittery dust. As all of a sudden, it begins to take a different shape. As it shrinks and shrinks and shrinks and shrinks until where the inn had been, there is now a small acorn uh, mm-hmm. satchel bag that she picks up off of the ground, slings over her shoulder. She opens the top, looks inside. Yep. Looks good in there. And anyone who's close enough, I'll say Gideon, close enough. You look in and you can see that inside of this bag is a miniaturized replica. Hey, what do you got in there? See, look, it's staying at the end of the road. Oh, wow. You can see the horses go in. And, Wait, you got um, fire lighting in your backpack? This is an acorn satchel. Oh, man, that's cool. It's no backpack, good thing. Oh, sorry. I thought with it, the straps, and you're going to no, wear it on No, just one the... strap goes right over the shoulder here. Oh, and I misread the situation. Like a messenger's bag. Yeah. A satchel, good sir. Oh, like a satchel. It's far yeah. more, uh, you know, Feywild that yeah, way. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> and, and, at the top. and she closes the acorn, um, the acorn satchel, and you see it does have uh, two windows on it that if at, viewed at the right direction, Mm. You can see directly into the inn and see that it's an inn. Gideon, how did she George Jetson the whole inn? I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> but oh. let me tell you, once I crack Faye Wild Engineering for Dummies 101, oh. I'm probably not going to be anywhere close to being able to do that. But. Okay, but One now <sighs> we have to make sure that we find some food and something to drink, so we should probably scavenge. Let's get forward. Oh, yeah, I'm great at foraging. My Uncle Globo taught me everything he knows. I drank a whole bottle of anything earlier, and I'm just feeling pretty full. I thought it was just something. Oh, no. Can you roll a constitution saving throw for me, please? Oh, no. Maybe it was something. I can't remember. <laughs> what are you speaking of, like, Twig? 
Didn't Gorbo teach you how to hunt down a pack of rabbits? And I rolled get it all cooked one. up for oh, rabbits, yeah. too. Oh, oh yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get? Natural, Natural one. one plus oh. uh, three. And he drank one. a whole bottle of something. Yeah. A whole bottle of what's it? Natural one, noted. Um, okay, so... Oh, no. You explode. Let's make sure that we scavenge. Okay. Forage. Um, let's all go in directions. And then meet right back here. Okay. In five minutes. All right. Okay. okay. Um, who wants to come with me and learn how you really scavenge no, for herbs? No, we all go in directions. Oh, okay. I'm going to go by myself and get the most herbs from scavenging. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Tollback Tollback is ready. Go this way. Okay. Tollback's going this way. I need everyone to, uh, to make a survival check for me, please. Ooh. Oh. Schmental. That's a little better. Oh, I'm supposed to roll the bandage. Oh. That's bizarre. Well, it didn't really help, to be honest. 12. Twelve. Sixteen. Oh, wow. Hell yeah. Uh, I got a ten. Michael, my my character app. Din Beyond is my not, my my. It didn't my load. not my nondescript character sheet application. Is not <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you're all locked up. You are jammed up. What did there. you roll? Uh, an eighteen plus my plus wisdom. Plus plus yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty three. fucking so you're good. Fine, pretty dude. pretty good. Yeah. Um. You rolled a 16. I did roll a 16. Nobody else rolled above a 15 outside of that. Mm. Uh, I, rolled I rolled a high. Yeah. I rolled a 10, got a 12. Um, Kremi, you find a, you find a spring, uh, a fresh water spring oh. that oh, is fuck. bubbling, and uh, there's a small waterfall, um, crystal clear, beautiful water. Um, you imagine that you could easily bring everyone back here and fill up any kinds of um, water water skins, skeins, skins. skins. Water skins, skeins are yarn. Classic. Yeah. I, I, I always skeins. do it. Schemes. 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 Water schemes. Weems. Steams. Weems. Steams? Schemes. Veins. You imagine that you could... <laughs> <laughs> you imagine you could bring everyone back here and you would easily be able to collect enough water for quite a while. Um, Gricko, ah. you head out with Hootsie. Just like Uncle Globo used to do. You are on a mission. You will be the best scavenger, the best forager of the group. And you're not wrong. You are able to find, um, I would like you to roll 2d8 for me, please, and tell me what each of those numbers is. Oh, look, who's a golden node on the mini-map? Okay, we gotta go to that one. <laughs> I'm about to give you nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, really uh, 2d8, uh -huh. uh, that would be an eight. This is a huge lemon tree. You rolled two eights? <laughs> rolled, oh, no, no, I rolled an eight total, five and a three. Yeah, I, I needed both Oh, numbers. sorry, five and a three. Um, you're rolling on a table. Oh, okay, so. got it, got it, got it. Five and a three. Five and a three. So that's kind um, of you scavenge around and you find a delicious orange flower that whispers, eat me. Ooh. The flower's head is tart while its stem is sweet. Ooh. Oh. I'll walk up to it and I'll say, Hoochie, eat me. watch and learn eat the master. Me. Eat me. <laughs> eat me. <laughs> ah. I am intending to pick it. Eat me. Can I? <laughs> Eat me. You got in the combat the first time. <laughs> yeah. I interrupted, yeah. Look at him inside. I heard this it's fucking beast. They need for you, come on. Lucy, come on, go on unbound ground. Go on, go on, go on, go on. She's on passive, okay. she's on passive. Okay. Defend, oh, defend. Oh, oh. Time that it took him to try and pick it, the flower actually got up and walked away. No! So that one is actually no longer able to be used. Um, oh, eat me, um, eat me. Bye. <laughs> I run after um, it. No, no, I'll eat you like groceries. Please. And you try, but you are unable to. You are unable to catch it. So its magical abilities, which are pretty amazing, are no longer available to oh. you. Um, we'll never know. As you continue forward, the you sweet, find. Sweet 
you find something strange um, floating through the air. It is foggy in this place. The fog has always been that gray, greenish hue that the swamp fog oh. has been from the moment that you got here. Hmm. But off in the distance, you see a swirling mass of baby blue and baby pink mist or fog. Ooh. And as you get closer to it, you can smell the sweetness on, on the air. A mist of, or, uh, a wisp of sweet candied mist, similar in consistency and taste to cotton candy ah. that's in front of you. Uh, can I like try to grab a cone from my pack? <laughs> Paper cone. Do you have a cone? Yeah, whatever. Oh, I can whittle up a cone. <laughs> oh, it'll taste like sawdust. You swirl your cone around and you're able to collect yeah. this wisp of sweetness. Oh my goodness, this is going to be like an ogre's club. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a euphemism. <laughs> oh, oh, this is literally oh, going to look like an ogre's club. <laughs> Whew. Gosh, everyone's going to be so proud of me when I bring back cotton candy. It's very nutritious. <laughs> okay. Do I get all of it? <laughs> yes. As long as that's what you're trying to do this <sighs> time. Okay. Let's see if I can find that flower again. Come on, Hootsie. <laughs> and you take this, um, this wisp of mm. cotton candy mist, and you begin to make your way back towards what you believe is where you met with your friends. <gasps> And then you hear it. The sounds of roots being pulled from the earth. And you begin to veer towards the north. Oh. And as you look behind one of the nearest mangrove trees, you see off in the distance a large towering hill covered in willow trees as it slowly moves across the landscape. <laughs> <laughs> Hootsie? <laughs> you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> Thank you. Hootsie eats all. Oh, <laughs> we were supposed to share, but you've had a harrowing day. Oh, 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 oh my finger. Ah. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's just a little. Oh, it's a little blood and some fingernail. That's fine. You're missing half of your. Oh, it's, oh, it, oh, oh. Hold on, hold on. Oh, banana. Oh. oh, that's potassium. Ah. Okay. Uh, 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 it's Telegraph Hill. I found it. Hey, everybody, I found it, and I also foraged. Hello? The rest of you hear nothing. As you all meet back up at the place that you were supposed to, and you wait and you wait, but Greco doesn't seem to be returning. You listen in on the wind, and you hear nothing as you wait for him. Mm. Torbeck found some rocks and sticks and a little bit of wet moss oh that's great man i found all this mud so together i think we're gonna survive i found a fresh spring with a fucking waterfall in the middle of a swamp what the hell we got twigs and mud you found a whole spring with I fresh did. waterfall you know Grico's probably dead let's just go to the spring yeah there's no way he survived you know you know who told him to forage his uncle globo you remember <laughs> oh, what that guy God. said he's doomed yeah something fucking crazy probably <laughs> Like, take all your clothes off, <laughs> turn around, you know, and um, um, uh, uh, walk out of this, walk out of this, uh, you know. And then he never ended up catching any damn rabbits. Well, that's the thing. I mean, we've seen him try to forage before. He just goes out in the woods. He says, just like Global used to do. <laughs> yeah. And then he would stand over something and just, like, move his hands together. And he wouldn't even kneel down. He'd always come back with fucking nothing. And then he'd summon that big gorilla and just say, bananas. <laughs> And then we'd all be eating bananas, and we, you know, it's just like, yeah, I mean, it was good, but what the fuck do you have to go away for? Yeah, I mean, he really did use his magical powers as a crutch. Yeah. Well, Frost, I'm sorry for your loss. I think then we'll be able to find Gricka quite easily. How do you think we're going to do that? Well, uh, Twig, would you agree that he went in this general direction? Um. <laughs> yep. <laughs> My recollection is that he went 
you went this way. He went sort of in this northerly uh, uh, direction. And all we have to do is start. And perhaps we hold hands so that we don't lose each other again. Mm-hmm. But if we can all stay close, but we follow the footsteps. What about going to the spring first? Well, we maybe we should, you know, in case he's not dead, we should probably, you know, see if he's okay first. Well, why don't we head to the spring and we'll just like, I don't know, write our names in the ground as we walk so he knows where we went. Oh, we'll just fill up our water skins. Yeah, we'll just get it all, Are you know. Are they skins or skins? Oh, have I been saying it wrong this whole time? <laughs> <laughs> Did you say water skins? Uh, water skin. You know, I'm just... Usually I drink water out of a fucking glass like a normal... <laughs> guy. Wait, you guys brought water skin? <laughs> oh, we're just using our hands. Hmm, well, right. Torbeck only has this dirty sack to put water in, so if anyone has an extra foreskin, I mean water skin, <laughs> for Torbeck, that would be lovely. Um, I, I actually do, if you want one. You have an extra foreskin? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think mine's more like, like a like a canteen. You know oh. what I mean? Oh, that's pretty good. You probably yeah. have a canteen too. Uh, I'll check. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember one. I mean, it's possible. I don't drink a lot of water, mainly whiskey. I feel there's a very <laughs> logical solution to this. I agree um, with your suggestion. I have a Wait. really interesting. Well, I have a question. Is yeah. it a canteen or a canteen? What's the difference? Well, it depends on how the adventure's going, I think. If it's going well, I think you say it's a canteen. If it's going real bad, like, you know, Greco, uh, it's a canteen. <laughs> oh, no, and there's an apostrophe between the two E's, so it's like, I can't eat. Oh, it's actually oh, what he says that. often. I can't. I, I can't even get oh, this yeah, water. Yeah, you know. Oh, oh, you cheeky. You know what? You know. You know what he sounds yeah. like. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, you wow. cheeky friends of mine. Those are incredible Grico impressions. Torbeck is completely convinced. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> yeah. Sad in in it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> in it. <laughs> Oh, Gideon's. Um, it's just a lot of. <laughs> oh, it's more. You gotta come from you know the west. Rico could be, Rico could be killed and dead by now. Is this what adventuring's like? Yeah, this is yeah. pretty much it. Yeah. Can we go get water now? Let's get uh, some water. We'll, we'll we'll fill up our canteens and skins and skins and. But only very quickly, and then we need to return to the point where we think Rico took his journey. I think what we need to do is think like Rico. Walk through the forest oh, and recreate his steps. Okay. Yes, Torbeck, Torbeck can do that. Torbeck has one. Here we go. Uh, just like Gricko. Yes. <clears throat> Oi, bruv. <laughs> How was that? Torbeck thinks that sounded just like Gricko. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Deep, bruv. But, yeah, it was all right. Did you say uh, bruv? Yeah, that's what Gricko all the way says. <laughs> well, really, you got to. heard him say bruv. <laughs> do you even know Gricko? Yes, I've known him for quite some time. I, Torbeck's Torbeck. not so sure. Torbeck, I'm not going to give you this flask anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we got to fill his canteen. How is Torbeck going to drink water? Oh, All I have is this filthy sack. <laughs> you can cup your hands. Or you can... <laughs> just walk around like I think what you do, yeah, you put it in the filthy sack, and then it's just going to leak out but, one end, so you just walk around like this all down. But Torbeck's hands will be full, or the... The sack will leak. I'm not even going to mention the five vials that I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, well, let's go then. Uh, okay. I lead everybody to the to the waterfall. <laughs> oh, just look at it. It's beautiful. Oh, Anyone right? need a glass? Oh, you have glasses? Yeah, hold on. And she opens up her acorn <laughs> pouch, and she reaches in and pulls out a tiny little uh, cup. Oh. And she puts it down on a rock next to the um, to the spring, and you watch as it springs into a full size cup. Yeah. Anyone else need one? Oh, Torbeck would like one very much. So yeah, I'd take one. Okay. <laughs> Look, they got a barbecue and brew festival right over there. <laughs> you got a rock band playing and everything. I love that music. Come on over and get your turkey legs. It's a, a, a veritable beer garden. <laughs> Ten bucks to get in. <laughs> Oh. You can pay ten bucks. They've got cornhole. <laughs> Tour We're not paying ten bucks to play cornhole. Oh, 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 the fucking oh, song. Oh, really wants a half of bison. <laughs> you know what? That's early in the campaign. Oh, 
<laughs> no, we all ignite into flame. Yeah. Rock spawn. <laughs> Uh, 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 no, this is awfully beautiful. Uh, we've we've been Brain Creek. You can catch us next Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Fill up quickly. We need to find Grico. Yeah, well, thank thank you for the cup. Thank you, Twig. I, I, Torbeck appreciates it. And as you drink the water, you immediately feel your body begin to shift and change as you return to your Torbeck uh, form. Oh, <laughs> this water is delightful. Torbeck is. Oh. Oh, oh no, no, what is, what is happening to Thornbreak? It's returning, Greg, to Thornbreak, no! How can this happen to Thornbreak? Oh, guys, this horrific oasis! Sounds just now. <laughs> <laughs> Those are juicy. I know he wanted him back like this, but he really is horrible. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm feeling a little bit of regret. Just the smell. I think the bird in that tree just died. <laughs> <laughs> Torbeck will never drink water again. <laughs> Wise decision. <laughs> Only Mountain Dew. <laughs> Meanwhile, like a whole badger fins, <laughs> and it's the beginning of Once Upon a Forest. <laughs> you just beat the shit out of me with gas masks. Oh no! Uh, uh, I drink from the Oasis Spring as well. Your <laughs> want to eat human bones completely dissipates. Oh well. Don't want to eat these anymore. <laughs> I uh, dip down into the, the water skin, into the... Um, and I have, I have a good-sized water skin. I have all these vials, I have, but it, it's going to be able to sustain this water for a while, and I make sure that it's totally full. And as soon as I get to the, the, the top, I cap it off and go, hmm, D- did anyone remember that we could use Twist of Fate to cancel out dreads at any time? <laughs> That's, that's interesting, isn't it? Isn't that funny? That none of us remembered that? No, what? What? what the hell are you talking about, man? Are you high again? <laughs> From a meta perspective, Torbeck was more than aware, but didn't want to change. <laughs> I like him better this way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's certain that there's something about him. I don't know if it's the dirt, the smell, or well, the general depression. We should probably go make sure Grickle's not dead. What? Yeah. All right, uh, Frost. Use your, like, you know, ESP triangulation powers. It's just a matter of intelligence. I have a question. Uh, oh, excuse me. Definitely <laughs> <laughs> yeah. walking through. Hey, look at the big brain on Frost. <laughs> yeah, jeez, man. He's saying your extra special power. <laughs> oh, yeah, just yeah, cool. Yeah. I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna psionics this. I have, I have an extra special f- a power. You want to see it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Hold on. And you watch as Twig looks around. Oh, over there! And she rushes over to the edge of the water, picks up a, a toad, licks it, mm-hmm. puts it back down, turns towards you, begins to drool. Her eyes get really, really big. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll be in there. Wow, Dizzy! Your special trick is that you got high on, on toad sweat. Yeah, you can't lick toads. Yep. <laughs> Alright, uh, somebody carry a Gideon. Yeah, <laughs> come on, come on, Twigsy. Is that it? Yeah, come on. Yeah. Actually, hey, how is it? I'm an adventurer now! Is that toad still around here? You throw it in the water. I threw it in the water. Oh, well, thanks it's for sharing. Sure. It skipped three times. Yeah. There's a bunch of bully, there's a bunch of toad heads, and it's Pierre, and it's, uh. <laughs> there is no pain you are receding. <laughs> a distant ship spoke on the horizon. <laughs> the scene dead from Twi- Twiggy's bad acid trip. Oh, yeah. Has anyone just tried <laughs> to call for Greco? Cause Torbeck can do it. Do it. All right, I'll do it in his native tongue. <laughs> <laughs> and this that's horrifically shrill <laughs> goblin language rings out through the box. <laughs> oh, does that mean bruv and goblin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 
Oh, God. Oh. Why on earth was that? <laughs> oh, surely he heard Torbeck. I can't believe I've learned a new language. <laughs> you feeling all right? I licked that toad and now I know a new language. What you were saying? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Torbeck was calling for Rico. No. Oh, oh! Hush. Does anyone hear Greco calling back? No. You should really stay hydrated in your state. I offer a glass of water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> well, ah! It's like raining up there. It's like what? spilling all over the place because she's <laughs> trying to drink it. <laughs> you fixed? Oh, no. Oh, shit. No, I'm back. Oh, nice. Okay. Because Gid could just, you know, piggyback you all the way if, you, you know, if you're too high to walk. <laughs> I told you I could do something special. It was very special. However, if you're going to adventure with us, my advice is for you to uh, attempt to go along with the group. And not and not run off and do something on your own independently, <laughs> but something that uh, aids the group as much as possible. As, yeah, fun, and... as fun as it might be to lick toads. Hey, hey guys, you, you guys see this toad? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, if you're going to adventure with us, the cardinal rule is you only get high at breakfast. <laughs> No, Gid, look, we have a rule. There's no hard drugs. It's going to end up like oh. chuckles. <laughs> <laughs> look, booze is fine. Yeah. A little bit of cigar is fine. But you do any more than that, and you're going to, you know, then then you, you, you let your guard yeah. down. And That's what I meant, Twigsy, all right? That's the rule. Don't we get out. We should high. probably go back to the start to see if we can find Grico, because whatever Torbeck yelled out into the ether did absolutely nothing. Uh, <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> Uh, follow me, and I will lead us back to the clearing. I will follow Frost. Me too. You, oh, also follow you me. all begin to follow Frost as you begin to hear and see movement up ahead of you. Oh, stop, 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 stop. It's them. It's the stilt walkers. Shh. What the fuck's a stilt walker? Yeah, what are you saying? And you watch as Twig, as Twig <clears throat> points out off into a further area of the swamp, actually close to where you were headed towards. And you see these entities that are on these on these stilts. They have um, fur over their backs, um, a hooded cloak that goes up over their heads. Um, oh I will God. actually just show you a picture because it will make it okay. oh, easy. No. Strapped to their back is what is clearly a cage filled with fuck. Oh, yeah, they're oh, definitely no. not keeping their back yeah, straight. That one's got a sick fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you guys so much. Here they all can't stop sneezing. <laughs> oh, it smells like oh. that fucking force. On their back, I can't make it. a cage filled with eggs. Oh, oh, eggs. Oh, I see. They have, like, oh. they have like stilts on their arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, uh, like, uh, they're like the, the uh, giraffe from The Lion King. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh, yep. Okay. That's exactly. <laughs> That's fucking perfect. That's exactly. It's fucking incredible. It's yeah. to keep them out of like the swamp waters. Yeah. The tall swamp grass that surrounds them is um, wafting with um, the fetid stench of decaying plant. As they make their way through, you see six of them in total. They are moving forward and slowly stopping. Uh, as you'll see, one of them reach down and. Um, reach into the muck and pull up a an, an egg completely covered in soil and and swamp filth as um, they clean it off, open the top of the cage and place it inside. Um, they whisper to each other as they continue to move forward. What do you what did you call them? Those are still walkers. Still walkers? Do you know why they collected the eggs? Yeah, I do. Do you know why they collect the fucks? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> egg, eggs and fuck are very similar. Uh, they all, well, the fuck results in eggs. Yes, exactly right. Uh, well, are there 
Are those still Walker eggs? No, they take those eggs to Downfall to the soggy court. Downfall, soggy court. And do they just eat the eggs? Or? I don't know what they do with the eggs in the soggy court. You'd have to what? You'd have to ask the still walkers, but I wouldn't recommend it. Are they dangerous? Are they aggressive? I don't know. I've never gotten close to one before. Are what? Who, who are the mothers of these eggs if they're not still walkers? What eggs are these? Whatever eggs they could find. Lizard eggs, human eggs, Any eggs. bird eggs, calliope eggs, mm -hmm. cake eggs. You know, whatever lays eggs. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man, can you imagine cake eggs? No. Like painted in pastels. Just buy it. <laughs> Oh, it's like, like an gooey, actual cake with like a Like a gooey thing. center, you know? Oh, yeah, oh man. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere in the nice. distance, uh, Greco just like shouted, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> uh, no. What were you going to say? Have we made it to, are we near the clearing? Do I think that we're at the starting point? Um, you're watching the stilt walkers walk past mm -hmm. the clearing. You're close, but Twig has essentially stopped you where you're at as you watch <clears throat> as these stilt walkers move. What direction are they headed in? Um, so if the if the place that you had met was here, you'd gone off in this direction for the uh, the spring, and Gricko had headed off in this direction. You're heading back here to the meeting point. They're walking in front of you. Heading so you're heading to where, where Gricko towards Gricko's okay. direction. <clears throat> Do we think that Gricko would follow these creatures? Yes, absolutely. I feel like Gricko wouldn't. I don't know. He wouldn't mess with these things. Oh, they're pretty scary. Yeah. They're kind of fucking monstrous, man. I mean, that's like his whole deal. Well, they're headed in the direction Gricko is going. Well, they look too, like, humanoid for him to really give a shit. And they got you cages on the backs. You see that one of them stops for a moment and looks directly toward the group of you. Oh, fuck it, dead. Yeah, let's fuck it out. We steal. Um, it is very clear that you've been spotted. Oh, oh fuck, Jesus. And yet... They make no motion to move toward you. As you see this entity look from you, Frost, to you, Torbeck, all the way through to Twig herself, slowly reach down into the muck, pull up another egg, and put it in their in the cage, and they continue to walk away. <clears throat> Three, four, five minutes pass, and they are out of view. Maybe they didn't want to bother us. Maybe all they're doing is just scavenging eggs. Uh, could be just collecting stuff, looking for swamp treasures, you know? Maybe, I don't know, maybe they're just, yeah, collecting eggs. Another mystery. Meanwhile, on the opposite side of the swamp, Gricko, you have called out to your friends to no avail. You hear no sound come back from them. Hmm. But you do hear the sound of popping at your feet. As you look down and you see these holes emerge in the muck at your feet, as little <laughs> bubbles pop up out of it. This is uh, similar to what you'd see on a beach in an area where it's heavily oh. filled with clams. Oh. Uh, and as you, as you look down and um, around this, you <clears throat> begin to see, is that a, a hand? A small, a small grayish green hand makes its way up out of the hole long fingers um with uh darkened twisted nails is this what is roll an intelligence check for me Fourteen. what is clearly a mud method as it climbs its way out of the mud not one not two but ten mud methods pop up out of the muck beneath your feet. The one that's directly in front of you looks up at you and begins to speak. Please be clams, please be clams. Oh. <laughs> hey. Oysters. Oh. Hey, you. Why oh. are you making so much noise? Oh. Oh, uh, hello. I was trying to sleep. Oh, I'm sorry for waking <clears throat> you up. I didn't know anyone slept. Oh, my. What? Now that you've woken me up, oh. you must answer my question before we let you go. 
What would you do if I don't know I get it wrong? Wouldn't you like to know? I mean, I would very much. I'd like to know what... <laughs> well, get your phone out. Okay, I will answer your question. Uh, nice, nice, muddy, flappy wings. <laughs> it's very <laughs> impressive that you were able to fly. He such... watches it unfurls and it's covered in mud as it's dripping <sighs> off of the wings. Oh, yes. All right. <clears throat> oh, man. That's... Hello, I'm Greco Grimgrim, this I lovely... Don't care. Okay, this is Lissa's Hootsie. <laughs> you can answer a question. I'm telling everyone in the Feywild my name. <laughs> That's stupid. Oh, I'm sorry. Why'd you do that? Anyway, I'm not here to help you answer my question. Okay. Good luck What's figuring your name? out what it is. No! Okay. You're answering the questions, I'm sorry. Good luck figuring out what it is. Okay. But answer it and I'll let you go. Oh, okay. Thank you very much for this it's opportunity. It's a serious question. <clears throat> yeah. What's a mud method's favorite food? And they all begin to giggle. <laughs> can I can I write down an answer before you answer? Yes, yes you can. <laughs> A mud methods ah uh, favorite food. Yeah. I, I have something. Tell it was a favorite knows. food, huh? Huh? <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, if I had to guess, you do have to guess. <laughs> <laughs> it would be the confectionery treat. Dirt and worms featuring chocolate pudding. What? Gummied oh, worms no. <laughs> and crumbled uh, non branded <laughs> chocolate cream filled cookies. <laughs> and you see, as uh, this mud method turns and looks at the one to the left, is that right? That's definitely right. So. It's definitely right. Is that right? Yes, it is. No. Well, that just means you haven't had dirt and worms before. It's very delicious. <laughs> What's he talking about? He got it wrong. He got it wrong. He got it wrong. They all start to dance around oh, you and no. sing. That you oh, got he, it got wrong. It wrong. He, he got, got it wrong. He got it wrong. He got it wrong. One of us. One of us. One of us. One of us. And all ten of the mud methods <laughs> jump onto your body, and they begin to cover you in muck and mud. You feel your shape begin to change Holy as you yourself shit. become a mud. Method. It's the fucking scene with Andy Circus and King Kong. This movie is surprisingly violent. <laughs> oh, they did what to the Tyrannosaurus Rex? Oh, God. They just. Oh, oh, no. And once you become a mud method, all 10 of them are surrounding you and they begin to pull you down into one of their mucky holes. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I think I heard Draco. <laughs> the rest of you have safely now made it to the place that you had um, that you had chosen to meet. Is anyone else for no reason at all thinking about dirt and worm, confection, or pudding? <laughs> oh, I got a sudden hankering for it. Fried Uncle Frosty! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Torbeck's no stranger to eating dirt or worms, so Torbeck is thinking about dirt and worms. Yeah. Uh, well, I meant like the confectioner treat, you know, with like the cookies, but the non, you know. Doesn't baggers. ring a bell. Oh, you know, now, uh, now is not the time to be thinking of treats. I know that you get hungry every 15 minutes or so. I think yeah. you probably should talk to a doctor about glycemia. <laughs> no, I think it's just how my body works. You know, I'll just process like a thousand calories a minute or something. I'm no longer Ooh. worried about the bones in you. <laughs> well, no, Frog, you were going to try to track him down, right? Well, uh, we start walking in the direction that he went, and we try to make the decisions that he would have made. He is a good tracker. He is capable of foraging. We just need to think like Gricko and understand. Maybe we'll trip on the same thing he tripped on. Or, Roll or... a performance check. And mm. You being Gricko's best friend, I'll say do it at advantage mm. to see how well of a Gricko impersonation you That's can do good. during your, um, your traveling. Oh, performance. That's where I'm a bike. Um, also, it was. Yeah. Obviously. 
Eleven. Twist it. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> Twist it. Well, no. Eleven. Uh, you know, I we could roll some dice and play. The, yeah. Play Dungeons and Dragons. Maybe one twist? I don't know. We we have so many. The, the audience loves us so much. If you're much. fine being afflicted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to afflict me. I'm not. No, I'm they not. don't do that anymore. What? Oh, they don't? No, they don't. No. Just the dreads. Oh, oh really? Oh. Yeah. It's just, it gets, it's, I, I need to run this campaign. And we can, and I we can use choices. Twist of Fates to undo Twist of Fates. We have to spend ten Twists of Fate yeah. to undo the dreads. To, no, it's three Twists of Fate to three undo one fate. dread. Okay, okay. And how many sheep can I get for? Torbeck would pay a hundred uh, that, that got me a plus one. Uh, uh, twelve. <laughs> I'll, I'll take twelve. Twelve is my number tonight. We have that. I'm feeling very twelve. You, I'm twelvey. Very twelvey. 12 you S. are doing a rough approximation of, mm. of Grico. Uh, and I, though, I hunger down. Though your your mannerisms are not perfect, mm. they definitely ev- evoke the um, the idea of Grico. And you do feel like you're in his mind a little as you as you make the choices that you make. Um, you are able to find the flowers that um, <gasps> tell you to eat them. Oh. And as you are, you know, arguing with yourself and pretending to talk to Hootsie, it does end up running away, and you're not mm. able to um, gain its boon. Uh, um, so <laughs> yeah. Yeah, as you get stung by this. mosquitoes, he would have done this, and then he would have reacted like this. I just know it in my mind. Damn it, Frost! You're too good at this. Um, you should have eaten that flower. I know, you, but that wouldn't be what Gricko would do. <laughs> That's true. You smell the scent of sweetness on the air, and though you don't see the small um, wisp of that cotton candy mist. You can smell it, and you head in the direction of it, knowing that Gricko would have smelled that too and been interested. And that is where you find Hootsie, <gasps> sitting in the sitting in the muck, pawing at these pawing at the ground, and the the hoots that are coming from her tiny owlbear body are sad. She, if owlbears could cry, she looks like she would be. If she's mm. digging furiously at the ground, for what? You're not sure. But you can see that lying on the ground next to her is the cone of uh, cotton candy. And it's the, the mist that was attached to it is clearly gone, but you find some remnants of it. Um, you inspect everything. Hootsie barely pays any attention to you at all. Is she is so solely focused and pawing at the ground, um, digging for something. Um, and you begin to you begin to look around. And I will have you roll a survival check for me, please. Twig, you wanted to be part of an adventure. That is what this feels like. Fifteen. You. Get down next to Hootsie, and you place your hand on her back, almost is just in a subtle, we're here, we're with you, even though she doesn't seem to notice you, before you immediately start looking at the area around where she's digging. And you do find a couple of these small holes that remind you very much of clamming um, the few times you've been to an ocean. Um, and... <laughs> and you notice that there are footsteps you can see in the muck where Gricko's footsteps had been sunken in and they haven't been completely wiped away but you notice they haven't gone anywhere and you do see some scratch marks coming out from some of these holes in the ground as Twig looks up and says look it's Telemi Hill that's probably where he is and that's where we'll end the session oh shit this is ominous (laughs) (laughs) I love the way he's gonna enjoy a nice clam bake (laughs) we're not done no, we're not. Uh, What's next, Andy? Avengers and Chill, uh, which is where we answer all of your favorite questions and talk about our favorite moments and theorize. So don't go anywhere because we're going to talk about 
all of what happened in the session. I love Evangelist Show. Ton, ton, ton. If you're not sticking around, we'll be back next Wednesday with more Once Upon a Witchlight. True. Uh, we'll see if Grico is, is forever <laughs> transmogrified into a horrible mud method because he couldn't fucking get mud pie. He'll be fine. <laughs> He'll be it fine. definitely okay, wasn't mud pie. You know, I'm, I'm going to save I'm gonna save what I have to say about that for Evangelist Show. Oh, oh, what's a mud pie? Grico has been Hootsie's father this entire time, and this time he's just going to be his mudder. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> that was Zing. excellent. That's that was fun. very excellent. That's quite good. <laughs> and also, we're going to thank people before we cut over because we never do that. Oh, that's a great that's idea. We're going to catch up. Mm. And we're not really cutting uh, anywhere. Valene Dravniel cheered 3,000 <laughs> bits. Whoa! Whoa! Thank you, thank you. Valene says, you, you guys have cheered you. me up, and this this has made my night tonight. Aww. We're so thank glad you, you were able so to join much. us. Uh, uh, Tony gifted uh, six subs. Oh. Sloth gifted ten subs. Bro, oh, what oh, a thank legend. You. Uh, thank, thank you, you to both of you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you all. <laughs> Um, oh my god, Jasper the Doggo, or Dogo. Can't say because of spoilers, just join to say hi to Clutsy for me. Oh, what? Oh. Well, hello to oh. you, sir. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, my fucking ankle. <laughs> oh, my weak bones. <laughs> I'm so weak. Legs. I'm in fucking clown hell. I should tell Andy this. Um, think of a clown Sona, Andy, because uh, eventually you're will, you will be called. You gotta, no, you gotta, you gotta I, gave, be, uh, I gave Rich mine. No, you gotta be Thacko. Yeah, I you gave, Thacko with the peanut yeah, allergy. You, you can be Thacko, you can be Bumbo, yeah. or you can be whoever we'll else. We'll have to talk about it. I gave Rich an idea a long time ago, but I didn't know if you cashed in on it yet. I haven't. He has no, he hasn't. I was the most fine. powerful clown in the carnival. My only weakness was the peanut. <laughs> That was Did basically the idea. Peanut, right? Peanut. Uh, the, you have to think of the archetype. Also legume. I, really. I, I came up with clown one. archetype. I came you up got with it? I gave it to Rich. We'll do it. Again. I'm not going to do it right now. Why would I do it right now? Rich doesn't want to do it. He's clearly... Right, well, he I hates wanted to give him first. <laughs> Rich literally came to me, told me what the idea was, and then was like, but please don't call me to do that. I'm not prepared. <laughs> and he has not been prepared ever since. Okay, well, oh, no, I just didn't want to steal anything. I Who's your comedy? It's going to be, uh, yeah. Wouldn't you it, had, wouldn't you it be funny if you had a horrifying phobia of fears of, cl of clowns this entire time? Like, I really liked your other, <laughs> the, the one that you came up with, I really liked. Yeah. I thought we'll, that was very we'll, clever. Well, uh, just prepare for that. Okay. Uh, and then we haven't heard clowns. chuckles in a while either. Or Clutzy, so. No, that's because they're not on the list anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Are we going to see them again? <laughs> well, if I get high and fight. get on a bad acid trip, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's just true. the same but thing. But I was going to have Chuckles sing Pink Floyd when you have that yeah. acid trip, and then the, the time never arose. Oh. oh well. uh, any other announcements before we cut over? Um, I've come to make an announcement. Mm -hmm. You have come to make one? Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog <laughs> is a bitch-ass motherfucker. No, that's not your announcement. I'm, I'm making a call-out post on my Twitter.com. <laughs> <laughs> much longer uh, on my Twitter doc. Shout out to the Hedgehog. He's a bitch ass motherfucker. It fucking kills me every time. Oh um, okay. We're not allowed to say mommy milkers, right? <laughs> okay. Nope, then, then I don't have anything. Don't go anywhere. We're going to jump yeah, out. Yeah. We'll be right back.